ナイスセットですごゆっくりどうぞあとうわあ止まりなさい使用図環境の課題にフルパワー日清坊That was going on so long, but hey, what's up? And welcome to episode 34 of Collect All Monsters,、uh, the kaiju show that looks at the collectible side of this genre. And just basically, we're, we're here to talk about our favorite kaiju collectibles that have been exposed over the past、uh, I don't know, month since we've seen each other. It's actually been a little bit longer than a month since we've had a full <coughs> episode, and I'm glad to be back here. For the November episode, where we're going to be talking about all of the news, some of the news that's come out over the past month since we've seen you last. There's been Godzilla Fest, Godzilla Day, Super Festival, Designer Con is happening right now, plus, dude, so much other like crazy news stuff happening. So we're going to dive into that soon.、Uh, before we do that, I will go ahead and pass things off to my co hosts and say hello. And ask you what you got over the past month with our little segment we call Showa and Tell. And we are going to start off, of course, with my good friend Leslie Chambers. What's up, dude? How you been? What's going on? How y'all doing? Welcome back、Just、to another episode、again. of Collect All Monsters.、Um, things going great here in North Carolina, at least on the East Coast. I think John can help me vouch for this. It was like 75 degrees like a week ago. Yeah. But then it's like. Mother Nature saw a state trooper and now 75, 75 to 25 for some reason. Oh, wow.、Um, wow. Yeah, it's cold. Cold. yeah. yeah. Cold. I, I don't know what's going on.、Um, but getting down into the season, you know, Thanksgiving is next week. Have a Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Have a Thanksgiving. Yes.、Uh, yeah. But even though it's cold outside, it has been really hot in our community for a lot of、yeah. reasons. For a lot of reasons. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we got some cool merchandise、uh, announcements. Our favorite cyborg space chair from 1972 got shown a lot of love. We got a brand new、um, movie from Toho. The original King is coming、oh、back. We got an announcement for that.、Mm-hmm. So excited for that. Everybody's favorite flying, fire breathing turtle is coming back. So, yeah,、Crazy. yeah. And Crazy Tiger、times. fans. We have a lot to be thankful for and a lot to talk about and a lot to celebrate. Now, mind you, like what Kyle just said, we're not going to cover every single thing because, for one, we all have personal lives and we ain't trying to be here for 25 hours right now. <laughs> But we're going to give you as much as we can on the news and we're going to honor an amazing filmmaker and producer and writer that recently passed away for Amori. So,、oh, nice. we got that going、Lovely. on. So, so we'll, we'll get all to that momentarily. But, Again, show and tell. I dig it a few things for myself.、Uh, and I'm gonna sh- I dig it a lot. I'm going to showcase three things to you know, make things brisk here on this show. And they all come from the Heisei series. Oh my God, from the、Woo! Heisei series. <laughs> Even though I'm a show guy, I, 
I won't go that far, but I love the Heisei series, you know, for being, you know, cool, and it's not the best. <laughs> Doing that is, is not the best, but, I mean, because the, honestly, there are some films in the Heisei series I wish would just go away and never come back between 92, 93, 94. If they were to disappear, I'm not going to lose sleep over it, but as a whole, I do love the Oh, oh but not 89? Wow. Yeah, that's the best. <laughs> Don't push your luck, Christine. <laughs> You didn't say I will keep. I will keep eighty four. I, I love Balante. I mean, you're gonna hear that later on during the course of this episode. But I will keep eighty four. I will keep eighty nine. I will keep ninety one. The dark ages between ninety two and ninety four can just go away, and I'll and I'll take ninety five. But the rest of them, again, if they were to disappear, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. So again, the retro hate mail towards me because I, I know I deserve it. But what I got for myself for the Heisei series. Of course, I teased this over the summer when I, you know, one of my um, packages, at least one of the things I got at G-Fest, but I finally got it built and painted. It was a grill acquisition that made John almost crap his britches that day, <laughs> but the Monster Maker 28, Cybot yeah. 1984. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. Wow. Oh. That's so cool. That's really nice. Oh, yes. Oh, that's sweet. Fantastic. Oh, man. And again, I know the Cybot is an acquired I'm taste. coming down to North I know, Carolina. I mean... Uh, you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be in Maryland in a couple of days, so hey, let me know something. <laughs> okay. But um, but seriously, I know the side bot is an acquired taste. I know not not too many people get the appeal of the side bot. Um, they love more at the more super accurate eighty four. It's understandable, but for, for me, I love more so the side bot because yes. of that poster, like the eighty five poster. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. my that's my favorite poster of all time in the franchise, and that's saying a lot because Godzilla has had. Some great badass movie posters over the year. Yeah. GMK, to, off the top of my head, like GMK, mm -hmm. the original Monster Zero poster, the original 54 poster, Shin Godzilla, you know, but out of all of them, the 85 or 84 poster um, is my favorite. And the Super Acura 84 is not on it, it's this guy. So, yeah. again, yeah. this is a cool, cool, cool kit from Monster 28. Plus, if you're watching, a lot of people would love Please. to have this in their favorite sculpt this long. Oh my gosh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. But, but again, thank you to Mark Sang Yang and thank you to the, to the five people at Hydro Bottler for selling me this at GFest. And this is a great nice. for acquisition. Again, the Monster Maker 28, almost 40 centimeter tall kit of the Side by 84. Oh and gosh. again, we're going back to Amore with, with my second acquisition. You've seen him a few times on the group. I haven't shown it here on the show yet. But again, it's something that Amore touched. And it's a model kit. And coincidentally, I got it at GFest like I did with the Side bot, And it's the Resin Chef. Mecha King gave the kit. Oh my god, I saw wow, it. Wow, that's, that looks fantastic. Wow. So jealous. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Again, be thank be you, Mark. Please be careful with that thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah if, I, if I even look at it wrong, it's going to start breaking. So, um, <laughs> how did again, he get that to you in one piece? How the yeah. hell did he shoot that? By the grace of God and a lot of good luck. <laughs> my goodness. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's amazing uh, that not one piece was gorgeous. broken in that in that shipping, no, or was there something broken? No, oh, no. And I'll, and I'll thank you. And I was fairly surprised because it came by UPS. And I know around this oh. time of year, UPS kind of kind of gets kind of careless. Unbelievable. Because, I mean, I mean, but that's like that across the board because you know, I'm a truck driver and I see these things. The volume of these packages wow. rises up exponentially around this time of year. So oh, since there's so much to cover. Yeah, I know. You're making me nervous. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I am blown away by it. Back to the ship without breaking. Hey, I know I gave y'all a heart attack with my Star Wars Studios King Geedra. I'm not going to do that here with this King Geedra. But anyways, as, as I was saying, drivers wow. tend to get a little bit more careless this time of year. So I was kind of worried, quite frankly. But when I got it, it was in good condition. I had him. I am. I had him send. I had to send him. I had to send this to me in certain parts, and I just assembled it. You know, when I got it, you know, whatever. Okay, that makes sense. All right. That, okay, that makes more sense because sending it like that, there's no way. There's no way. Right. Oh yeah, no way. Again. Oh, so again, X plus. Amazing. If you're watching, favorite sculptor's line. Yes, I know please. you and me. I do like it. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. uh, 100 don't have the best ship in the world mm -hmm. but again favorite sculptor's line mecha king geezer courtesy of resin chef and you know who else is coming from resin chef flying hedor which is should be on right. the way to us right yes. now so, right. on the right. way so again yes. mecha king geezer that is number three 
ironically, three, three hits. And number four, no, not three, not four, shoot, shoot, my third acquisition. Woo! Again, I'm going to give a huge shout out and thank you to Marcellus Winters for building and painting this kit for me. But wow. again, going back to Amori, go back to Amori. As a matter of fact, he comes from my favorite film that he ever did. Um, I got this kit of a 40 centimeter Horizon 1991 Godzilla. Ooh, oh, wow. right. That's nice. Very nice. Oh, that's Wow. Oh, look at look at that buffed up. Job. Wow. Yeah. Look at that buffed up badass. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> because you know, I make no bones about the fact that I make no bones about the fact that I love Godzilla the King of Doors. It's like my favorite movie from the Heisei series. I like you know, it I so love it. Despite yeah. its problems. I'm, I'm sorry, Kyle, because I know you and that film don't have the best relationship <laughs> in the world. But I just love this version of Godzilla. It's my favorite version of Godzilla mm -hmm. from the Heisei period. It's my favorite look of Godzilla mm -hmm. from the Heisei period. I've always said, if Godzilla was a real creature and he walked out of the ocean today, I would want to see the 91 come out, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Mm -hmm. But but again, Marcellus did a wonderful job with this. He's amazing. He is, he's amazing. He is, he is amazing. Yeah, beautiful. And again, you know, um, it's fitting, you know, with yeah, Mechatine wow. Geezer now from 91, you know, stuff that Amori touched. So it's kind of fitting that I'm showing this stuff here, you know. But again, we'll touch on Amori momentarily. But that's all I want to showcase in my show and tell. Man, it's so great to be back here on Collect All Monsters, considering all the awesome stuff that has been thrown our way recently. So without further ado, I'm going to kick it over to my main man up in Seattle, Washington, the one and the only David Eric Dotco. What's going on, David? What's up, David. Leslie? What's up, everybody? So happy to be here with you all today. Um, just, just for the record, I don't like the Cybot the way it is in the film, but I do like the model kits of it. That's beautiful. I would, I would like yeah, to have beautiful. that kit. That's or yeah. or if X Plus does one. Um, yeah. Just like Leslie said, it's a what a what a glorious time to be a fan of this genre. I mean, there's so much coming at us. Collectibles here, movies here, animation here, conventions here. It's just like so much coming at us. My head is spinning. I don't know about all mm -hmm. you guys. Um, and you know, as I sit here in, in my room and look around, it's like, how the hell am I going to fit anything else in here? Yet my wish list is growing each day as this news keeps coming at us. So I don't know, man, it's, it's kind of frustrating to be perfectly honest yeah. with you guys. I, I just don't know how I can proceed in, in collecting without like getting rid of some of this stuff or putting it in another room or, or something like that. But enough about that. We've got a pretty pretty packed show today so i'm just gonna jump into the stuff that i got um over the last month um i think uh, you guys saw this i posted some photos of this the oh, night that you i got, got it, it. Oh, i yes. finally broke down yeah. and i got Great. godzilla the ride and, and although in the, I, I know most of you remember me saying that i think the head is a little bit too small which i still think that mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. um Cert certain angles, this figure looks great. And yeah. you can photograph this at certain angles. The head doesn't look as small. Um, right. Um, I love the the detail. I love the the skin, the the incredible detail on the skin. And look at those dorsal plates. I mean, yeah, they're just, amazing. Oh my gosh. Awesome. And, you know, two. You to ow, ow, I just cl clocked oh. myself with his tail. That hurt. Ow. Um, oh. You know, this is. One this, of his this, signature moves. Yeah, I guess so. And, yeah. Um, uh, yes, this is the Rick light up version, as you can see in the photo. Oh, that I took. nice. Um, nice. what pushed me over the edge to get this are two things. One, um, it was available for a pretty fair price for the Rick version. And number two, this is the, uh, sort of a, the brainchild and, and, uh, of the director of the new movie. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking that. You know, maybe the Godzilla that we're going to get is going to be something like this. Maybe mm -hmm. the skin texture, dorsal plates. I don't know. I so. But it, it sort of got my juices flowing and it, it made me mm -hmm. curious and curious enough to get one of these for myself. So Very cool. I really do like him. And I'm, Great I, I don't, don't re regret that decision at all. So and let's see. Exactly. I only have I only have one more thing, believe it or not. This is this is a really cool thing. Now, those of you who went to G-Fest. Um, will ha have probably met Robert Schrock. He's a model builder like myself. He's mm -hmm. been a, one of my mentors. Like he, he was building models before I even started. Um, Leslie and Marcellus met him in the modeler's room. They saw his beautiful model that he built, mm -hmm. that, that diorama. And he actually made a book. Oh, cool. It's called oh, Destroy All Modelers. 
and it's a <laughs> full self-published awesome. book. And nice. he sent one to me because what oh, he did cool. is he added little figures of certain modelers in the figure, and I'm actually in there. Oh, so, nice. Um, you got your camera? Cool. Do you have your camera with you, David? Right? Yes, it's, it's a little, oh. a little, a little guy with a camera si sitting on Mothra's back. So, oh, how cute is that? Uh, I just thought that was really cool of him, That's awesome. and it's just a cool project, and I can't find it. Oh yeah, let's see. Uh, get up, Tommy, move it. You always said death by caterpillar was not the way you wanted to go. As David stands on Mothra's back, snapping what he thinks are beautiful <laughs> pictures, forgetting to remove the lens cap. <laughs> the next day when the chaos is over the camera is found to be blank thanks a lot oh, thanks a lot robert no. but anyway really Very thanks a lot cool. it's, it's, it's an amazing whimsical kind of That's fun really thing cool. is that uh, available for purchase uh I, i'm i'm sure we can get you one i'll just, just talk to me after that it's I'm, I, he's he just sent it to me um uh mm -hmm. as a gift but i'm sure he's got them available too i'll, I'll, I'll let cool. you know and then one more thing I want to show you guys, and then I'm going to pass it on to Christine. I finally finished my Tease Facto maquette. Nice. Oh, awesome. Yes. It's beautiful. Um, I, I just cool. love, love, love this really interesting, creepy design. It is creepy. It's almost it's awesome. storyboard-ish. And I got to give a huge thanks to Nick Sides and Leslie Chambers for getting this Leslie, to my house. Thank you so much for, for, awesome. for helping me out making my monster dreams come true. Um, I've wanted this kit for a long time and I finally, I figured I'd do it before Halloween because he's kind of scary looking and- Yeah, he he's, is. He's, yeah, he's just beautiful. Beautiful. Super cool. And I don't know how Les is picking up these yeah. pieces. I'm, I'm, I'm a nervous wreck picking up this one and there's not that many small pieces on this. I'm gonna put them down before I break them. But I think that's all I've got uh, to show. Um, I'm gonna pass it down to Christine over in California. How are you doing, Christine? Hey, Christine. well, uh, I don't have to deal with the 20 degrees and blizzards like you guys on the East Coast have. Because <laughs> it's still 65 and sunny here, so. <laughs> yeah, 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 um, yeah. Not fair, not fair. <laughs> Whatever. I'm just living the life. <laughs> <clears throat> but, oh my gosh, yeah, this past month, holy cow, all the news, I've just been like, I think every day we've all just like freaked out over something new that's coming out. Toys, movie news, and it's a kind of funny story. Um, so the new Gamera anime got announced. And so as you, my co-host know, I literally just this week finally watched the Heisei Gamera series. <laughs> and I, I don't know what took me so long. Like I always had it on my list to watch, but I had seen some of the, like, the show ones and I was like, eh, I wasn't really, you know, like too excited to get into it. Cause I'm like a big as little fan, but wow. Let me just say, wow. The first one was all right. The second one, I was like, oh my gosh, this is great. The okay. third one, Iris, oh my, that was my favorite one. See, I would watch that one again. I would definitely watch that one again. Um, so yeah, so finally I've popped my Gamera bubble and <laughs> I've seen the Heisei trilogy. <laughs> and I'm working on the, the Gamera the Brave. I'm halfway through that, so. <laughs> um, nice. but so moving along Good. here, I did get like two, I get two boxes this month. Um, I have another one coming. It hasn't gotten here yet, so I'll show that one off next month. But first thing I'm excited about that I got. So last month I got the Godzilla tank. Oh, I love those tanks. And oh, now cool. I got the Mecha Godzilla tank. Oh, awesome! Oh, yes, and I got oh, man. this. Oh man! Um, John, you need was, that one. Uh, no, no. Yeah, it was the Halloween version. Oh, Shoot! Oh, I forget which one. But you know what's cool about this one? Do I have it? Oh, I put it away. Did, did so you get that on Mandarake, Christine? <laughs> Uh, actually, no, I got it on Yahoo Japan Auctions. Nice. For some reason, there's a few up there that were, like, super cheap. It was 80 bucks. 80 bucks. What? Oh. Wait, what? Yeah, I couldn't. $80. What? Well, yeah. But then after shipping, it was like, but I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. I. There Damn. Was, there was, like, <laughs> two bids on it, and I got it for, yeah, 80 bucks. Not 80 bucks it. on Mandaraki, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. yeah. Um, but the cool thing about it is it also comes with another Mechagodzilla that's all this, oh, like, because cool. the tank is, like, a glittery orange kind of color. So it that's comes really with a nice. blank Mechagodzilla that. that you can, just, like, switch it out with. So now I'm on the hunt for a Mimia tank. So, I mean, though, Keratix, <laughs> so this is my Keratix, they've been releasing new colorways of all of these now, so the prices on them are, are getting cheaper. Like this one is cheaper than this one, but I mean, you just you know keep an eye out. I mean, I would love to get a media tank. They got some really cool header ones too. I need to get a um, tank. Oh, I know there's so much fun. I can't. I, I gotta do some pictures. We're getting a Caractix yes, tank. Sir. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure yeah. that. Well, he's always at the con, ooh, at the cons there, so. 
Yeah. And exactly. then the other thing I'll I just got was. Source. Oh, yeah, you right, got it. Is, is that? Yes. You oh, got it. Oh, yes. Nice. Awesome. And with the Super X. Yeah, the Super X. Yeah. And I oh, that's so nice. It's big. That's and, yeah, it's huge. So this, cool. It is. Wow. And this is the Godzilla store version that just wow. they just started shipping yep. earlier. When did I get it earlier this month? But, oh, no, the Super X is, like, oh. Yeah. I'm, I'm so glad I waited because I really wanted the Sakai 84, mm-hmm. the first piece that came out. And I, I passed on it and I was all upset. But, you know, they, like, came out with this one with the Super X. Can't go back, and it's got blue dorsal plates. And they yes. kind of look like they're a little bit translucent, which is pretty That's cool. And I'm all for blue, so. Is um, there a difference oh, between so that so one and, and the original version, Christine, or do you know? Because I have the original version. It looks um, kind of the same. So they look, they look lighter, they maybe. the same, except this one has the blue dorsals. And I think well, so the does mine. Hold on. Like the oh, it does? I thought it had yeah, black and white ones. I think ones. so. Yeah, oh. mine's, is the scale mine's, different? Mine's got, mine's got bluish white. It's Oh, yeah, this is like, I don't even That's know how more. to describe it. Like, it looks like it's a, it's either translucent or it's like, I can't ever say it. Translucent. Translucent. <laughs> translucent. Percent. Or it looks like it's, I like, I feel like the dorsals are translucent on this one. Because at the bottom, they're not. But these ones I can kind of see mm. through. It doesn't light awesome. up or anything, but. Definitely sure not on mine, but. It looks like it's a little bit lighter too. This one's kind of dark. The, yeah. Is the scale the different? Is the no, scale in this one different? Or is I think the it's the same? same. I think it's the same. Really? I think it's the same. It's the same sculpt. Okay. It's just like maybe just a slight different color on the back mm-hmm. and then the Super X. So okay. yeah, very excited. Super X is great. Oh. That's great. Awesome. I just love this sculpt. I love the Sakai. Yeah. Like I'm trying to focus more like because I love the X Plus stuff, but I'm running out of room for my X plus figure. So I'm trying to, I did some rearranging today right before the show to try to like squeeze everything in there. But, um, so I think I might just start focusing more on just the Sakai line. Um, so that's, those are my box days yes. for this month. Um, nice. so let's go check down in with you, John, how, how many 50, 100,000 things did you get? <laughs> this month just, in the mail? <laughs> only one less, only one less. Uh, all is well 000. down here. Um, Phillies lost the World Series, and the Eagles mm. lost. But oh, we, bummer! We, no. we just kind of worked through our our depression. But with that mm. said, you know a Godzilla box day always helps. Oh, uh, yeah. I have a few things to share with you today. I'm going to try to do this quickly and efficiently. But I've been overwhelmed by film as of late. So, film, film, film. And I think I shared a couple of <laughs> weeks before. But it's pretty cool to get in hand some of the. You know, I think I shared a 54 Super 8. Film. Mm. Oh, okay. I don't think it, oh, I didn't see that. Oh, that's cool. That's yeah, that's awesome. It, it, it's pretty dope, and it comes with uh, an audio cassette <laughs> to sync up with it. At uh, the same time. <laughs> Another, <laughs> it play at the same time. Also, <laughs> is that uh, oh, uh, um, Invasion? Oh, uh, is this Astral Monster? I, I'm not sure. Uh, if it's a combination of several, but another Super 8. And then I found Rodan. Oh, that's Ooh. the old one. The old Castle yeah. Films, Sweet. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And But here's the prize. Here's the prize. Well, wait. Then I, I, I got in the mail yesterday. This is old film set that they made oh, for, cool. that came out during Godzilla Final Wars. But there's select pieces of uh, uh, shot scenes from the film. So, cool. But here's the oh, one I wow. found that... Went to a convention. Which convention was it? Last Sunday, Monster Mania, and I saw uh, Michael from Vampire Robots. But during that time, I found a like, part two of the German Super Eight Godzilla vs. Oh, that's cool. Yes, that's awesome. Yes. So, growing collection of Godzilla on film. Picked up the Godzilla nice. versus Fedora. Oh, okay. Mezco. Oh, cool. That's a nice set. set. Yes, it is. Mezco's got been doing awesome with those sets. Yeah, did oh, did you see the Mecha Godzilla Godzilla set? From oh, yeah. So the, yeah. It, yeah, yeah. It was but, announced, yeah, and, and yes. with, with uh, awesome. King Caesar too, yeah. Yes, yeah, I had to pre order that. Got some of the masks from. <laughs> oh, look at that! You know. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Is it the mask yes. or the mask and the costume? Like the it, with the bib that just says <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> Picture of him on it. You gotta yeah, put that I mean, on. I have to get that. Now I'll get to the figures. Well, let's see. I'm I'll surprised you didn't get the mask. Mecca. Uh, uh, Michael didn't have it, so I have to order it. 
the mecca seems to be hard to come by but maybe i'll get it off the site but i did get another bust oh nice Nice. oh yes i saw it out of the box it looks much better than the photo (laughs) much more accurate you look like you're laughing yeah it does (laughs) okay (laughs) to the last items which are figures but i know everybody did everyone get their megalon oh Oh, nice Cute. He is cute. Oh, you got the Rick. Rick. Okay. Yes. I had to get the Rick. I like that. Okay. I really I like that. He is cute. super cute. He's fantastic. And I just love the We all shared our guy again before. Yep. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay, let's see. You got a lot of stuff there, my friend. A little too much. Oh, okay. I'll, <laughs> I'll do the, the big item last. Oh, now this was really, I had, I had when I saw it, had to get it. I've got too many of these now, but I can never have enough. The uh, Bandai Popey. um, Godzilla Gang. Oh, Godzilla Gang. Gang. Yes. But here's the catch. This one came complete with the bag, the header card. Oh, wow. Even the staple. Oh, (laughs) (laughs) save those staples. (laughs) The staple. But what I really (laughs) wanted, what I really wanted, it might sound weird, is I wanted the booklet. Ooh. Oh, cool. has proven to be elusive to that come by. That doesn't sound weird. That's very you know with the valid. Yeah, oh, look at all those. Yeah, like, oh, that's wow. the booklet that was in the Godzilla Gang set. Yeah. Well, this is the the Japanese release. Wow. You know, the rich, but it has the set of figures that nice. you would want. All the awesome. Ghidorah, Rodan, blah 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 blah. So that was cool. I had to have that. Much cheaper than I thought it would be. A few books. Um, this is a. Uh, Dano's uh, book on Godzilla. I made Godzilla fly. I don't think it ever got translated. It was supposed hmm. to be released uh, in, this, uh, in English, but I don't think it ever happened. Another interesting book on uh, Godzilla and nuclear, uh, excuse me, Japan, the Japanese and nuclear uh, radiation or just nuclear, but Godzilla, uh, Hiroshima God, and Godzilla and Fukushima hmm. are, oh, are part of the focus of the book, yes. And hmm. I, I don't know if I shared last time the coloring book. <laughs> oh, book. I, that's so really cool. fantastic coloring oh book. Oh my gosh! For I think seventeen bucks. You, you, you oh, can't. oh yeah, gorgeous. Oh, my niece and nephew would love that. Yes. they love coloring. It, I would wonderful. love too. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, a must book. If you didn't get it, the uh, new official guide to the King of the Monsters. Oh yeah. Is that is that good? I wasn't sure whether that was going to be legit. I haven't read it yet, but the photos nice are wonderful. The content is good. It appears to be good. You know, really beautiful. Oh, okay. the top, they know. worked oh, with nice. Toho quite a bit, actually. And like, They're good. in in contrast to previous books that have been released that are like this, that they, you know, they had very limited imagery. Like, it, I understand that they had basically the pick of the litter kind of they could just oh wow. that's great whatever they wanted for yeah. it so cool. sure. yeah it's uh, yeah, this is loaded this was is that online is, is that a u.s product or that's it's, a uh I think that's a u.s Was, product u.s product can 25 can go i think it was 25 yeah it's on amazon on amazon yeah. Part oh, of perfect. It. it's oh, got perfect. a little um uh, i don't know it's not uv coating of some sort on the cover oh. and it's, it's, it's got yeah, yeah, the the texture and yeah it's nice well worth it nice. Nice, nice that you endorse it. Then I'll definitely check it out. For Godzilla book collectors, you want to have it. You should get it. Last item. I've been wanting this since 1984. Oh, wow. And I could never get it. I got the reissue that came out in 1988, but I got it in 1991. And I did not realize the significance between the two. This is my favorite. Watch this, Leslie. Most of uh, Mosu Goji of all. Giant. Monsters, oh. great, great monster series, right? You got it. You, the, the, I know. Uh, <laughs> I know it. And I got one that's like, oh boy, just absolutely wow. perfect. That's oh, great. Yes. Good yes. Good yes, great condition. Uh, and I got Holy it for cow. dirt cheap from someone who. Let me see if I can get this lined up here better. Uh, it's huge. Someone who uh, Japanese seller who just said it's been on his belt, yeah, guess, <laughs> for a long time. So that's um, the 88 or the 84? It's the 84. A- oh, wow. Yeah, the that's the one. Wow. The 84 is more accurate. See, there was a book called The Monster 
monster catalog in 3D that I got in 84. And it featured the garage kits, you know, done by, you know, Legends, Inoue, mm -hmm. and others. And there's uh, Inoue 64, uh, Godzilla 64, that this is based on, upon. And I always wanted that, that, you know, I didn't know, realize it was a kit. Always wanted it and didn't realize this 88 was a much better representation. I mean, 84 than the 88. 84. 88, mm -hmm. I have it. But it's just <clears throat> inferior compared to the 84. Well, the uh, one main difference, John, the one main difference, because I, I had both at one time, too, and I sold the 88. The 88's neck is a little bit too long. It's a little thinner. Yes. That's, yes. to me, and that's what hits. visible you can see. It's like an hourglass. Yeah, yeah it's it's a little bit less accurate yeah. To, yeah. to the to the actual model kit than the 84. Congratulations. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's really uh, cool. I sold it at Toy Tokyo for $800 about mm. three months ago. I got this for 150. <laughs> so, oh, what? store! <laughs> Holy cow, yes. John! And the only box, I still have my 88. The box, only, so. the, the only thing that's better about the 88 <laughs> is I like the 88 box better than the 84 box. I had an 88 box. The 88 is box better. is better. It's better. I didn't realize they had a King Ghidorah. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I've been talking about that they had hanging on the ceiling. Oh, that's the that fragile wing. Had, oh my gosh! Are you kidding oh yeah! Me? Oh yeah! Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, that's the end of my box day. My, my box they share my show. Wake up, Leslie. Well, <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> I do on the minutia. No, that was awesome. That, that was a little, a little a little bit of nostalgia at the end of there for me. Thank you. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Kyle, how about you? Oh, you know, actually, well, see, hang on a second. Last time we met in the broadcast YouTube zone here, it was... I was in Japan, and you guys were all mm -hmm. at, at your respective homes, and we were streaming uh, episode 33. And while I was there, I talked about getting some, some Gashapon, so I'll just quickly show off. These are the Gashapon uh, statues that I showed off, but these are the ones that we already had. So these are mm -hmm. like a, oh, a mouse oh, and a gosh. fox. Oh. Oh, and then cute. the ones that I picked up that I already showed you guys last month that match are these guys here. So oh, super couple. cute. Awesome. Once again, Those are cool. I love Gashapon. Uh, speaking of Gashapon, <laughs> if I had a gigantic figure handy, I would put this stick of Yakitori in his hand <laughs> because this is a Gashapon oh, Yakitori that I got what? at the airport. That would make a fun, that would make a fun picture. Yeah. <laughs> and then I don't know. I, Strange things come over you when you have like 600 yen in your pocket and you're waiting for your uh, waiting for your flight. And then, last but not least, in the Gashapon uh, area, I found th they make really weird stuff. You guys, weird weird stuff. And I found a taiko drum. So they make these taiko drums. Oh, and, fantastic! Uh, and, cool. and actually, the the drums yep. come with little drumsticks. Awesome. And no. so, uh, no. Oh my god! Oh, that's oh. that's great. And if that I can uh, figure out how to play. how I want to do it, expect some that sort of animation awesome. to happen later. Awesome. I'll pick <laughs> up the drum sticks after all. Uh, okay, so in addition to that, I think you guys, um, the people who watched me do my unboxing when I came back, are, are aware of this. But I went to a pop-up event where I got to see the Gamera 3 suit. And it mm. was a oh, DNA awesome. of Tokusatsu pop-up event happening in Shinjuku at the Tokyo Hands. It was a limited time, only 15 days. But I was there, and I said, you know, since I'm here, I might as well get some of the cool stuff that I saw being sold at the uh, DNA mm -hmm. event. And so I picked up a washcloth with the oh, Gamera cool. 55th yeah. anniversary. Nice. I picked nice. up a cool sticker because I'm a sucker for stickers. Awesome. For the anniversary. And then this, similar to the Godzilla one, this is the Gamera DNA book, nice. which has yes. pictures oh, of yeah. all sorts of great stuff. Fantastic. And yes. props and just amazingness. Hey, I met him. Wait, no, I met him. This guy <laughs> right there. Anyway, yeah, I had to get this book. And then speaking of books, I, the last thing from that Gamera event was this cool, in my opinion, lobby card poster yeah. repro book. So 
if I ever wanted to break cool. out my scanner, each page has like you know two <coughs> images oh, of great. some oh, lobby nice. card images or I love lobby cards. some cool promotional stuff. And it's got this, it's got that classic look <laughs> to it where all the you know oh. all the colors are a little faded, very collect all mm -hmm. monsters style, you know. Nice. Um, so I got those guys. That all came back from Japan with me. But that was it. That was everything I got from Japan. I had a couple things, a few things waiting on me. I'll whip through this super fast. Number one, I sold a bunch of X Plus figures before I left because I was getting a big, expensive figure. And if you've seen these things, this is the zombie lot. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You got one? That's Halloween. Awesome. Yep. Perfect for Halloween. Wow. Yeah, that this is, is uh, stuff the is amazing. Inferno. <laughs> And it's crazy. Wow. I mean, the the casting the of this, if you look on the, the feet, see how it's orange in there? Yeah. It's yeah. orange on the inside, but it's Beautiful. clear on the outside. <laughs> so I think it's wow. double dipped oh, or something. Wow. Somebody can he just does correct amazing. me in the comments. But, so this is the Inferno cool. colorway. Wow. wow. <clears throat> and because and they're just huge. nuts wow. and crazy, and I really liked the pictures of it. I also got the Purgatory. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. Oh. So I kind of figured that like I'd get one of them and then I would cool. just, uh, I'd get both of them and then I'd just figure, figure out which one I liked better and I'd sell the other one. But so far they're both still here. <laughs> still in the collection. And I'm not, yeah, don't not sure what the deal is there. Oh, but um, I'm super happy to have them. I, I, I'm very impressed with those sculpts, and I think that mm. the some of the other stuff that they're doing is not really in my in my <clears throat> wheelhouse, not really what I'm looking for, but it's still really impressive, mm -hmm. nonetheless. Fantastic, nice score. Okay. And then they, the last uh, cool. thing I want to show off expense? is uh, is a whole box of ultra goodness because. Ooh. Um, Deep Discount DVD had a really good sale on Mill Creek Entertainment oh, stuff. Really? So oh, I wow. picked up the original Ultraman box that I'd never got because I had other Ultraman stuff. Uh, I picked up Ultraman Neos, The Rise of Ultraman, Ultraman Tiga, oh. Ultraman Gaia, Ultraman Dyna, oh, Ultraman oh, Magius Collection, Ultra 7X, Gridman, oh. Super 8 Ultra Brothers, and the Ultraman Zerth. Duo. Fantastic. So like the Tiga has a nice uh tribute to Sivaraya where he oh, very cool. shows up. The whole the whole deal, I mean basically I've been ordering those since they came out, but then when I moved down here, I sort of got out of out of the habit of figuring out like, oh, what ultra discs do I need? And so I haven't ordered anything for 7 months. And then when the sale happened, I was like, this is I got to do it. And they I think I got all that stuff for under 100 bucks total. So wow. Whoa. That was Whoa. that was a that's real awesome. great deal for me. Yes. There that's, we have yeah. it. That's uh that's my box days. That's my show and tell. Let's see. Actually, you know what I should also do is I should also say that if you haven't seen it, last night David and I, and let me get out of this um out of this full screen mode cuz I don't need to really do this anymore but uh, david and i along with nick sides had a uh, had a tour of designer con which we'll be talking about a little bit later and also getting another live video feed direct from the floor of designer con thanks to our good friend jonathan portman during this episode um but so we did that last night and then fine. when fine, godzilla fine. day happened it was there were streams happening so it feels like I have been doing live streams almost nonstop since <laughs> since I've been back in town. But the uh, I'm really, really glad to be back here with my co-hosts and doing another Collect All Monsters proper. Uh, we do have 42 people watching us live oh, right now. Oh, I did forget one more thing. Actually, not just one more thing. I'm going back into the, the big mode, you guys. Watch out, watch out. Okay, so I got to show off some other cool stuff. Uh, well, I'm down there. I was, so number one, you guys a bunch of stuff. Nice. Oh, I didn't location. even see that earlier. Oh, yeah. That's so cool. Nope. I picked that up at the Godzilla store. And nice. somewhere in this room, oh, I have yeah. some stickers that also came from the Godzilla store. But yeah, t-shirts. T-shirts, you guys. That's another thing. That's a collectible, right? Absolutely. Uh, yeah. Hardcore chocolate, that Japanese 
Yeah, the Harcourt has a 55th that. anniversary series of Ultra 7 shirts. Oh, so this is cool. the Dinosaur Attack oh, shirt. Yes. Oh, cool. I know that guy. <laughs> awesome. I they love their also, design style. Th check this out. This is a killer Dimagine shirt. Anybody know which of the three Dimagine movies is my favorite? It's the third. The one with the <laughs> hawk. Uh... And the one with the statue on the mountain. Yeah, so I, super I love that. Super to get oh, that. Figure of that. Oh. And then Rucking oh, you loaded Fox up. Shin Godzilla nice. collab. Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. That's oh, I like that. Nice one. graphic that's on there. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah. Really yeah. cool. So very cool. I love the I yellow. had to. I had to. You know. Wait. What do you call that? I had to show off the kaiju drip. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> 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 yeah, I was just hoping that would make Leslie laugh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, what is, what is like I said, we that? have 44 people. Hey, that's oh. what two more than. Oh, hey. oh no, we dropped one. 43. I guess oh. somebody somebody didn't like our joke. You checked so, in, checked uh, out. <laughs> 43 people watching live, both Facebook and YouTube. I think most people here are watching on uh, Facebook on users. YouTube, yeah. But. <laughs> Hello to everybody, and uh, Leslie's going to go ahead and, and hook us up with some shout-outs to the people who are watching live, right? Absolutely. Uh, and, and you know what, Kyle, full disclaimer, your street credibility, there's no dis no dispute in that. You're, you're about as gangster as they come, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Michael Hang, hail me. What's up? Hail me, Larry Latham. Kaiju Battle, Chris Reed, Eric Stolk, Nathaniel Plummer, CJ Velasquez, um, Lee Claw Studios, yeah. Godzilla yeah. Train 1090, Ryan Mitchell, Greg Coggin, Fancy of Cast. Oh, I did see my wife Sandra in the chat earlier. She, uh, I think it bumped her off, but hey, babe. Um, let's see. Gonzalo Colarde, Thirsty Thirsty Toys, uh, Inco Ductic. Okay, that's cool. Um, Liam Foley, um, One of This World 87. Uh, let's see. Who else? Who else? Brutazilla? What's up, Butch? Um, <laughs> let's see. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? Let's lots of people. I, mm -hmm. Lots of people. Yeah, lots of people. Um, that's it. I, I, that's all the names I really see. Oh, Black. If, you, if black. we missed you, we still love you. <laughs> There's a, hold it. Thanks hold it. Somebody called, if somebody called Black Dolls Matter, hey, cool. Um, because you're because <laughs> you're a fan, 1991. Oh, James Hartman's in the chat. What's oh, up, no James? way, James. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. Hey, what is that? Hey, hey, collection Space Fan Club. Oh, stop, James. Oh, my god, <laughs> and Ultra Run Kaiju. So, yeah, oh, thank y'all so gosh. much for being here in the chat. We really do appreciate Thanks, it. Yes, 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 yeah. All right, right on. Well, thank you guys for being here. Thanks, thank guys. you for hanging out with us. Uh, thank you for being part of episode 34. Oh and we are going to go uh, straight into the Kaiju Collectible News. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to do things a, a wee bit different this time, and I'm just going to quickly say, if you are not aware, we're here to tell you all about all the cool stuff that happened. I'm just going to zip really quickly through this uh, screenshot gallery of images from the Godzilla Day streams. There were two streams that happened on Godzilla's birthday, November 3rd, in Japan. The first one was actually sort of an official one, had a big uh, live proponent uh, proponent in actually like in Tokyo and that's where they did this they announced the new Godzilla movie directed by Takashi uh, Yamazaki and that's awesome and we've we have already talked about that quite a bit in several of our other streams um, the whole thing was really cool because they did a lot of Geigen love so for me yeah. I'm super happy that uh, they had uh, the new Geigen suit that was developed by Shinichi Wakasa, built by Shinichi Wakasa. Uh, and then um, uh, there was the short later. There's all sorts of stuff. They they have this whole area where you could walk around and see cool stuff like Goji Band toys. Mm -hmm. uh, not toys, Goji Band puppets. Mm -hmm. This is the, the new uh, 
Monster Arts Geigen, which looks, oh, looks like great. phenomenal. Looks great amazing. in that case, yeah. yeah. They have the big, uh, gigantic, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like, Lord. six foot yeah. tall Godzilla oh, there. Uh, the all sorts of cool stuff on display. Some original props and and uh, scripts were on display yes. as well. Oh. Don't worry, I watched the whole thing for you guys, so I could be here to tell you all about <laughs> it. <But> then <laughs> they had these um, these moments where they had the high touch. Which is where you come out and high five the um, the characters, but because of Corona, they are doing elbow touches, which I just think is so very Japanese, a very <laughs> Japanese solution for trying not to spread germs. The whole coverage of the guy, the Godzilla versus Gigan thing, of course, started with them talking about the um, the crowdfunding, and then they brought out Shinichi Wakasa, talked about his career a bit. And then they showed this Gigan's Suit Rising project video, which, in my opinion, was like the coolest thing ever. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. They had the development just completely documented of this new Gigan suit. And then um, this is also another awesome thing where Gigan, the guy in the Gigan suit, didn't have the claws on his hands yet. So Gigan with human hands was like a real thing for like three seconds in it. That's very strange. Uh, I loved it. And then, um, and then, yeah, the Gigan suit came out. They started looking at it over, and then they had the Gigan high touch everybody. Then um, da, 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 da. they had all these interstitial moments where they have this Gigan suit project continue, where they show the filming of the, of the event. If you haven't seen it yet, I highly suggest you get over there and check it out. Um, onto the YouTubes because I don't know how long it's going to be up. Hopefully, it is still online. Oh, the Somebody short? Is, it's not really just fun. the short, but the full stream because they're not going to actually oh. pull the short and put the short up on its own. Right. Um, yeah, however, going back to this, uh, speaking of the shorts, they had a short called Godzilla versus Gigan Rex. This short features Megumi Odaka doing the intro. This probably will be online and available to watch on YouTube. Um, all CGI, they brought out it the is. creator, talked about his his involvement, talked about his history, talked about things that they did for this. And this is all just me gathering generalization, kind of like, mm, I think this is what they're talking about. Um, <clears throat> but talk about that later in a second. This guy here, who, by the way, does anybody recognize him? Does, does anybody know who this guy is? I'm pretty sure he's in GMK. Sorry for not letting you answer. As, like, one of the <laughs> news announcers. <laughs> anyway, oh, uh, and just real quick, just because we have uh, Gonzalo, who was there with Helmy, and Lou, oh. who's probably busy at uh, DesignerCon, he, they were there and they got to experience the wonders of uh, Godzilla Fest in Japan. Anyway, this guy here, he he was constantly in costume changes with new shirts from the Godzilla store. So it was interesting watching that. They also had a tribute to Akira Takarada, who we lost last oh, year, no. this great. year, excuse me. And yeah. also um, Nakano, uh, the Teriyushi Nakano, the director of special effects. They had a really great little video that showed Takarada oh. playing with the Mothra figure mm. and an old Marasan or Bulmar oh. figure. And then at the very end of it, this is the, I love, so there's so many things about Japanese culture that I love. And this is one of those things that I'm just going to share with you. At the end of the video, Takarada has a Godzilla on his desk and he totally does the shrine bow to him. And then. He looks at the Mothra on the computer to his left, and he does like this kiss wave to her. Aww. And I was like, oh, God, it's so Takarada. <laughs> like, so amazing. <laughs> anyway, so then they talked about uh, Terry Yoshinakido's career, which freaking is amazing. If you were aware, he's been at Toho for ages. They talked about the Godzilla... Um, uh, Godzilla Goji Band stuff for a little while, and then they talked about the other stream, which we're going to go into in just a second. More of the Gigan stuff. He had a whole thing where he went to the Awaji Island experience, which um, so, I think Helmy just did. Helmy did. Well. Yeah, he did. Oh, cool. Yeah. Right, and then uh, they had someone come on talk about some of the cool things that they're going to be selling selling at the Godzilla store, including that Godzilla fin, this Godzilla backpack. Uh, this is a an experience which is going to be over at the end of this month in Japan. This is a, a museum exhibit that has these props on display, including that brand new 
54 suit that's been developed in the past mm-hmm. several years. Um, you guys know about the 4K Rodan transfer, right? Rogan, it's the next movie yeah. coming to uh, Japanese awesome. viewers. And so they had all these before and after shots showing the cool. process of it. That's uh, incredible. They, they, I really wanted to make sure I showed off the De Agostini mm. bento box, which yeah, every yes. single item in this is actually Godzilla <laughs> themed. Uh, really cool looking. They talked about how next year is going to be the 50th anniversary of Woo-hoo! Godzilla vs. Megalon. That Jet Jaguar logo is fire. I love it very yeah. much. <laughs> Even though it's a little too similar to the singular point, but it's cool. Um, there's a really cool Godzilla cafe happening in, in Tokyo right now where they have some very interesting themed food and some figures on display. But also uh, they have things, not just figures on display, but displays where you can go take pictures with your figures. Ah, oh, that's awesome. Hard to describe without the pictures. They talked about the Godzilla the Ride and the update to the Godzilla the Ride. And uh, they then had the Godzilla Izakaya, where they had these people who were involved with Space Godzilla on. And I'm just going to zip right past this. It was really fun to watch them, but I don't speak Japanese, so I didn't understand it all. Um, they talked a lot about Godzilla versus Space Godzilla. Then that's when they debuted... Uh, the new short, they basically talked about the old shorts that they did in 2020 and 2021, which are very cool. Then uh, the director came out and talked about working on it. And actually, to be honest, when we saw the, the Godzilla X Mecha Godzilla in the theater, that was cool because they showed the short for Godzilla versus Hedera. And then they showed this making of things. So I was like, dude, Kazuhiro Nakagawa is up on screen in American theaters. This is badass. Anyway, the shorts were fantastic. Please go check them out. I don't want to show them on this and get the video pulled. So we're just going to zip through this as well. This was the Godzilla Day, the Godzilla store stream from Godzilla Fest. And they, <clears throat> this is nothing but products. And I'm not even going to stop on these. These were amazing. So cool to see. I accept I did get that. That cup is on its way to me right now. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, I basically, love it, I mean, it's great that they, they have like, you know, people showing up here like Shinji Nishikawa is showing off his mm-hmm. new calendar. And mm-hmm. uh, then the best part of this whole series was this, um, this whole thing where the host of the Godzilla stream, this the Godzilla store stream, he is going through the process of pulling vinyl of a Marasan figure and making the making like putting the figure together, trimming the figure, uh, painting, yeah, painting. So, we're gonna talk about some of these things, obviously, but anyway, it was just really cool to see. Then they painted it that the painting was amazing. Uh, sorry, you're seeing old things, uh, the. The whole stream was really cool. It had a lot of stuff going on. I think this was honestly the most interesting these have been in a long time. Oh, there it time. is, yeah. Yeah, and this, dude, seeing this guy painting this stuff in his cool. studio Amazing. is crazy cool. Crazy cool. So go check those out if you haven't seen them. Uh, I'm going to zip right through these because, yeah, I think we're pretty much ending it. <laughs> like, I don't think there's too much more. They had a calendar where they showed every single image from the calendar. Some books, statues, all sorts of stuff coming through this day. And that was just the Godzilla stream from Japan. Holy moly, what else did they cover? Or what else did you guys see that we want to cover on here? Uh, I know I didn't stop at anything, so I wanted everybody to have their full <laughs> their full thing. Oh, Leslie, I need to actually grab yours real quick. Remind yeah, me. Yeah, the gigantic. Yes, the gigantic city. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Leslie Chambers okay. is going to talk about this this thing he's super excited for. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I, I, I am. I'm so excited for it. Can't you tell on my face that I just, <laughs> like, I don't want to be on the show right now. I want to be on the computer pre-ordering that thing. You can tell, right? Yes. Yes. No, nah, seriously, no, nah, seriously. Um, announced at that show, you know, they're going to be reissuing the Gigantic 62. I mean, plus, I'm talking about the Gigantic 1962 Godzilla, the King Goji, which is one of the better Gigantics that they have ever done. Um, even though this is the sixth time they have reissued that figure in some way, shape, or form. You know, the first one came out in 2016. 
Then they had the Rick Boyd version with the blue door for plates. Then they, then the diamond, then it came out through diamond as a reissue. Then it came out on during the Wonder Fest as like a kit with the glow in the dark fins, right? Then it came out as a kit oh, yeah. again this year. They came with the um, Marvel Sun, I guess, uh, packaging mm -hmm. on the box, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the sixth one. So if you missed your chance of getting a gigantic 62, you really have no excuses, quite frankly. But <laughs> the, enticement here, the enticement here, what separates this one from the other ones, that it comes to light up. But what yeah. I understand, the light up is not really correct. It's going to be like just white, which is not how it was in the film, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. But still, it's a light up. Kind of like the, uh, the, the uh, giant that came out this year with the light, white light up in its dorsal place. But it also comes with the mini Passion Boy. Yeah. You know, that awesome. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. He got so excited he blew his vocal cords up. Oh, there he is. Okay. 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 Yeah, it's the Potion Boy that we see in the Japanese version to King Kong vs. Godzilla. They actually came with the original 37 meter X plus uh, King Goji. So basically, they're just reissuing this with the gigantic, putting a light up on top of it. And that's the enticement of getting this one in case you missed the, the other ones. Um, so this is really cool. It's a shame they that S Plus can't really touch the winner of that film. John, I'm talking to you when I say winner of that film. But at least we got Godzilla. You know what I'm saying? We got Godzilla. I know, John, it, it was a tie, it was a draw, blah, 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 whatever. I, we ain't got time for that. But Mothra either way. Only, Mothra is the only one that defeated Godzilla in the show. Yeah, and there's a disease out there called delusion. So hey, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> if you get a chance of get you, if you want to, if you want a gigantic S plus gigantic sixty two of Godzilla, go get this one. And it's coming out sometime next year, May of June, May or June. Um, the price for it, they call them for it, is like ninety three thousand yen, which translates Ooh. to six sixty, um, which is kind of steep. But then again, this is a light up, and you get the potion board. Um, but again, this is one of the better gigantic in the gigantic series. So if you're a fan mm -hmm. of the King Goji, you owe it to yourself to go after this piece. And that's all I want to talk about in my first round news segment. So I David, what you want to talk about? That uh, I would add that with that exchange rate, that's the that's yeah. a really good deal for what they're charging in Japan for it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So if you've ever been on the fence, get on it now. Go for it, especially since, as we can see up there at the top, Baye Connect is available. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're not going to have too yeah. many more chances. It's been six, released six times, so this is probably yeah. the last time. Well, maybe. This is amazing. Maybe. <laughs> I mean, it's like the best of all of the releases so far. I mean, it, this this particular gigantic is getting a lot of mileage, which is great because Kyle and I actually saw them the prototype of that one, which is kind of cool. So I'm glad it's getting a lot of mileage. This particular mm -hmm. figure, but so um, there's as Kyle you saw in his presentation, there's so much, so much, so much, so much available, so much coming, and it wasn't really hard for me to pick what I wanted to talk about because I've wanted this in model kit form mm -hmm. since 1999 when I first moved to San Francisco. And this is, oh. of course. Now listen, it's it's in the Toho Large Monster Series and it's got a really long title. So li listen, I gotta get this right. <laughs> Godzilla 2000 Millennium Stationary Examination Model Version. There it is. Oh, that blue is that's, the name awesome. of this, that's the name of this beautiful, beautiful piece. And this wow. was only available as a Yuji Sakai model kit for the longest time. And, and uh, when I moved to San Francisco, there's a cool shop mm. called Heroes Club on Clement Street. Robin Kwok is is the, yes. the owner of that. And he has a lot of cool kits and figures and, and, and whatnot. And he was building one of these for a client, but he didn't have one for sale. And I was hooked on it ever since. And look yes. at this thing. I mean, it is amazing. like so it's amazing. Cool. It's like, yeah, I've been, I don't know. I've been, I, I, Want to pre-order it? I just oh, can't decide. Yeah. Oh no, I can decide. Too. I pre-ordered it. It's, it's definitely coming. Um, like <laughs> I, I said, it, it was only it, it goes to prove if you want something bad enough, eventually it's going to come your way in some some mm -hmm. shape or form. I don't even have to build it now, which is cool. Right. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> it's going to be right there. Just take them out of the box for me. But let, let's talk about a few specs of this thing. So um, it's a limited edition, as I mentioned before, and it's 25 <clears throat> centimeters tall. It's going to be 50 centimeters in length. And it's going for 27,500 yen, which is a really good price. And like Kyle said, with the with the yen being not so strong, it's a good time to pick it up. Um, it's available for pre-order right now from the Godzilla store. And the proposed release date is May or June of 2023. So 
this is really funny. When I saw this available, I thought, oh, it's going to be available now, like before Christmas. It's like, no, I've got to wait till Aww. next year. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. but I mean, this thing is beautiful and it's, it doesn't is. have a really big footprint. It's only 25 centimeters and uh, it's going to look great in my collection finally. And um, yeah, that's, I, I just had to pick that. And um, I remember like, like eyeing it up in a Hobby Japan magazine and saying, I want that so badly. And, Finally, I'm going to get it. And, um, yeah, awesome. Here it is on the Godzilla store for you. Yep, and there it is on the Godzilla store. So, so it's still available for pre-order, gang. It is. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. I need still to get on that. So get on that. Get on that. Just, this this no. one probably won't, won't be reissued six times. So right. Get, get it now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Christine, of all of the vast things that are available, what did you decide to go with to talk about in your new segment? Well, I'm a sucker for soft vinyl figures, so and I gotta <laughs> hand it to Mara San. They're so they have this awesome so it's a Godzilla store exclusive, and you can actually purchase it through Fai on their site. The Christmas Hedera set. Now, if you ever wanted a Hedera set, like all in one package, boom, here you go. Mara San's hooking you up. So there's five figures in this set. Um, it's the adult landing form, flight form, water form, and then the tadpole. Wow. I mean, instant header collection right here. Um, I think it's kind of cute. They call it the sure. <laughs> like how it's this little like <laughs> snowy cowl around right here. But the Marasan glitter figures, like I don't like they're and the pictures don't do it justice because when you have them mm. in hand, they really sparkle like a disco ball. Um, wow. So these are still available on the Get Soul store for on um, pre-order. They're like set them. to be, re- yeah, they're really cool. They're set to be released uh, next month, actually, December. Um, See, now that's what I was hoping for mine. <laughs> the for Christmas mine. set for Christmas. Wait. That's great. Right on. Uh, yeah, and it's about uh, 3,300, 3, 3,000 yen, 3,000 yen. So about, hmm. I don't know, 230 something bucks American. So, yeah. I mean, you really... I mean, that's a, honestly an incredible price for five soft final figures. And they're that's decent true. size, too. So, um, I mean, if you're looking for an instant header or Christmas gift, here you go. Mario <laughs> Sun's got you covered. <laughs> Very cool. There's cer- cer- certainly not many tadpole uh, representations No, out there. which I think is right. really cool. No. I would buy right. this for the tadpole. Mm-hmm. I mean, I cool. want... I was going to buy the flying header just for the tadpole <clears throat> in, in the petrol right. I really oh, want that. I, yeah, so I, maybe, yeah. maybe I can get somebody to sell it to me. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Well, what, what did oh. you pick out, John, from this uh, Godzilla mine is, stream? Mine is small and simple. Is a it, You know, there was the Bandai class of a box set years ago, and I passed up on it and missed out on all those really unique mm-hmm. Bandai. Mm-hmm. But so when I saw this, I'm like, Yes, at least. And it's not Leslie's wonderful Cybot, but it is you know, comparable. It's the Bandai uh, oh, Godzilla right. 1984. You know, it's fantastic. Yeah. It's monster series. Yes. And it looks pretty good, pretty, pretty cool. So simple. And it run, it's going to run for about $45. So, you know, not bad at all. Beautiful little figure to at least, you know, get a little bit closer to having a representation in, in the that's in nice. uh, the Bandai series, you know, of every Godzilla. So pretty dope. I'm so glad that they're reissuing that, honestly. I think that, yeah. that I said this before, I think, uh, on a different stream. But they have been keeping those uh, exclusive sculpts to that box, like, yeah. so close to the to the vest. Like, I don't know why, but, like, right. just change the paint spray on it, and it's a completely different figure. Right. Nobody needs to <laughs> get their get up in arms about it it's so cool that they're finally doing this honestly so. yeah because i went to 62 i mean it's it's there's there's so many iterations in that box that it is dope and i hope they continue uh you know. i'm sure that i'm sure they will yeah hopefully it's been so many years now so it's like mm-hmm. go ahead and let them let them fly awesome nice that's it for me so short and simple all right cool well we're just uh Getting started here. Let's see. What do I have for my guys? I've got um, I've got to reopen it because my my program crashed. But oh, you know, Geigen. That's my that's my jam this year, right? And so for me, the thing I'm going to talk about is the 
Godzilla versus Gigan Rex Bandai figures that were just basically announced and available. These are are available to purchase now, I think, right? Like you can get them on the store, on the Godzilla store, and they're available to literally I think so. get. But they've got this brand new Godzilla design and of course this brand new Gigan design. Cool. Mm-hmm. And the fact that these are Bandai figures that were produced for essentially what is a fan film that has mm-hmm. been That's sanctioned cool. yeah. by right. Toho really is really cool to me. And they've been doing this a lot recently, especially Bandai, right? So you've got like these figures, just as an example, any of the ones from the Godzilla, the ride, the Shin Ultraman, mm-hmm. not Shin Ultraman, Shin Ghidra figure mm-hmm. that came out that was also part of the Universal Studios experience. Like the fact that we're right, getting right. things that are like actual Bandai mass produced figures that are not things that we've seen in movies, in the Godzilla movies. That I think that's really cool. And you know, the Godzilla versus Gigan Rex short. What do you guys think about that? I thought it was pretty that's fun, cool. but mm-hmm. but overall, it's sort of um, <clears throat> I don't know. It's all CGI, and so it doesn't have mm-hmm. as much enjoyment to me when you compare it to right. something like the. Godzilla versus Gigan Short that they sure. made mm-hmm. with Wakasa right. and the, and Night the and live day. action stuff. Night and day for that, yeah. yeah. But fun, still fun. It was fun, yeah. It was I'd cool. love to see an X plus Gigan Rex. I would love to see. I That'd actually be don't love that design. Yeah. It heads. I, I don't know what the fascination with making the head so small in this <laughs> day and age. Oh, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, it, it's not. I don't love it. I like the the classic Gigan much better than that look but hey that's just me the 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 thing was fun itself i like i enjoyed watching the the uh, it's different different and new and interesting yeah Mm -hmm. i think my overall like my response to the new Gigan and i was like oh it's it's cool that they're doing this but this doesn't have any bearing on anything like no exactly i don't think we're going to see Gigan rex in any movies in the future but who knows you never you never know what they're going to throw out there if anything for me i actually like i guess i like the short more so because it's ties to destroyer and how i kind of like it kind of suggests or really suggests Mm -hmm. that this godzilla is junior grown up and i actually appreciate that more than the whole guy getting rex thing Mm -hmm. that's what i got out of it Mm -hmm. i I enjoyed it especially over the destroyer Mm -hmm. yeah the opening was dope Cool, cool. I did like that content. It's continuity. just nice that they're doing this stuff at all. So yeah. you know mm-hmm. what I mean. Even if yeah. it's not your cup of tea, it's nice that they're they're doing it. Mm-hmm. So for real. So we've got like a half an hour before we're supposed to connect, uh, like twenty minutes before we're supposed to connect with uh, Jonathan. So we will. Uh, we're gonna power through this next section. Probably not gonna take us too long. Sure. Um, Leslie, you have something outside of the Godzilla Day stuff because when it was announced oh man what is the actual Rick Shonen website but when it was announced it was uh it was sort of in between things but why don't you go ahead and yeah. talk about the the other X plus yeah I'm gonna be real real um super brief with it basically um, X plus announced recently that they're reissuing this big old girl oh, they're right. reissuing Legion the 25th <laughs> <laughs> Legion going to be um, a nighttime version, so it's going to be a darker color version of Legion. Um, so, again, this is a really cool figure, too. You know, delicate, kind of like King Ghidra, but if you're a fan of Gamma versus Legion, or Gamma 2, the attack of Legion, you owe it to yourself to go after this piece. Not to mention the Death of Real Legion is supposed to be coming out in December. So you got that option, you got this option, which comes out in February. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> so it's gonna be like maybe three fifty um, US, and probably to be honest with you, it's probably gonna be like five hundred dollars because the box for this thing is gonna be really, mm. really big. Mm-hmm, um, mm. So be mindful of that. But it's worth it because Legion doesn't pop up too often. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a fan of the movie, this is the best representation you can have of the awesome monster that almost killed Gamma in that film. But also keep in oh, mind that the next few months is gonna be very, very expensive with, with X Plus releases like we got the monster vs king Gigi coming out in december we got the famous sculptors line mecha godzilla 74 coming in january legion is dropping in february and the gigantic monster vs kong is dropping in march so if you got all those things coming out at one time just just have just have a heart to heart with your wallet 
break the news to it, <laughs> and then you'll be good to go. Um, but again, Legion, dropping in February, nighttime color version. It is awesome. Go get it. All right, David. What's so, your um, new segment? We're talking about the American stuff now, right? Kyle, yeah, we're, we're, that's we what I was saying. Like Leslie had okay. Leslie had right. something that that's was right. off brand. So, all right. In so, in addition gonna... to yeah, in addition to Godzilla Fest in Japan, we also had Godzilla Day here in America on November third, yes. American time. America. <laughs> 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 yes. So, with that being said, um, I'm going to power through mine real quick. Uh, Kyle's got some images up, up there. I'm going to talk about Godzilla Tokyo SOS limited edition premium statue from Mondo. And uh, it's uh, the concept is designed by our friend Hector Ars and a dude named Francisco Franciala. I think I totally massacred Frank that. But yes, there you go. Um, and yeah. <laughs> it's sculpted by a dude named Tommy Hodges. And the package art which is really, really cool. It's in one of the images is also by Tommy Hodges. I love the package art for this. It's very, very cool. We were talking about this last night on the, when we saw it on the stream. Um, so let's, yeah, there's there's the package art. It's That's really, cool. really cool. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be a big, heavy piece. Uh, it's, a, it's sort of a, uh, a sister figure to the Mothra statue that was released last year. Um, it's going to be 17 inches wide with a 15 inch wide base. Now, it's going to be 16 inches to the top of Godzilla's head mm -hmm. unless you put in the Mothra larva head, uh, on the tail and it's going to go as high as 20 inches. Um, let's see. It's limited to 600 pieces and it ships uh, spring, summer of 2023. And it's open for pre-order right now on the Mondo shop. And I do have just a couple of product features I'll talk about real quick. Um, let's see. It's got... Of course, comes with the Godzilla statue, two Mothra larvas, the base diorama, swappable closed lower jaw, swappable chomping on Mothra's legs lower jaw, swappable <laughs> semi-translucent heat ray attack with one of the heads, and a swappable tail tip with or without the Mothra larva. And there you have it. It's awesome. Uh, it's going to be cool. And... Uh, Go grab one. They're available right now as we speak. And I bet people are, are looking at it right now at the designer convert mm -hmm. being featured. So mm -hmm. with that said, that was fast, wasn't it, Christine? Yeah. Oh, where are you? Over there. She's here. <laughs> Over okay. here. Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we had a lot of great Godzilla Day stuff. So I'm going to cover is this little cutie by Funko Pop. So they are releasing a burning Godzilla Funko Pop. Um, it's the four, it's like 4.25 inches, little, like the regular size guy. Um, it glows in the dark, which is pretty cool. Um, this is actually a pre-order through FYE. So if you go on the FYE website, um, you can actually pre-order. It comes out, actually, I think next month. I think it's set to release next month also. So, I mean, cool. Christmas gift here for, I mean, Funko Pops are super popular mm -hmm. people collecting. So you can add this cute little burning Godzilla to your ever-growing Godzilla Funko Pop collection. Very cool. Here's a shock. I don't hate that. Yeah, it's cute, right. isn't it? It's kind of cute. Funko Pops are cute. I it's like kind of cute. No. Orange eyes. These are no. large, too, right? Like, aren't the Funko Pop they, Godzillas, like, way bigger than the normal Funko well, Pops that you see? They the have the huge ones. I have the big Godzilla versus Kong, but this is the four-inch series, so I think that's oh, the, the regular standard size. Ones you see it there. Yeah, so this so, is, so, I think it's 15 bucks. So see yes. how much better it looks with a bigger head? That's so cute. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. That's what I've been talking about Take all this time. <laughs> it was like a cat. Like a yeah. burning yeah. hat. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm sure Legendary's a, listening. Dog mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> all right, well, what do you got for Godzilla Day, John? Mine is simple, but super from Super oh. 7. Oh. They, <laughs> Like, I like it. You're hired. I like it. You got to love it because they are. I, I love the unique stuff that we're getting from the U.S. side. And now with this next wave of the reaction figures, check out what they've got coming. Not only they got a 62 and 84, which you can never get enough 84s. The Dora, the God, but check it out. The half transformed Mecha Godzilla. You got to love it. What? Oh, yes. oh, I didn't know about that one. <laughs> Yeah. And oh, a show of King yeah. Ghidra. And a, yes, and a, and a oh, King, yes. King Ghidorah. I, King Ghidorah. I like this. You gotta love it. Good. Good set. What I love about Super 7, they are tapping into the deep cuts in a way that things that 
they know we like, you know, that they're really unique, mm -hmm. nice, unique things, which I, I appreciate. So, you know, just like the uh, Mezco, uh, uh, um, uh, yeah. The twins. The yeah, all these, yeah, there might be a different line, different company, but I like those unique things that we don't have, maybe mm -hmm. version. So this, this half transform mecha, what, what can you say? We don't have enough of that, so. Yeah, that's gonna, cool. Yeah. Way to go, Super and, 7. Yeah, and if they do like a half glowy or something, or something oh, with that, that would be Glittery, cool. yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah, the gl a glow <laughs> version of that half mecha yes. glow would be sick. Plus, a glow version of any of these would be sick, would be right? Because they've yeah. they're doing these great little paint apps with the glow versions, where it's not just like nothing yeah, but a glowing so. figure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, looking good. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Carl. All right. Well, <clears throat> I actually don't really have a news item that I'm going to cover for Godzilla Day. <clears throat> Essentially, what I was going to say is that for my Godzilla Day is is it started. Uh, when I started watching the stream on the night before, so the, the second, and that was the stream in Japan, continued until I couldn't uh, stay awake anymore, and then I woke <laughs> up and started enjoying my Godzilla day with the rest of the fans, catching up with my stream, and then what I ended up doing after that was uh, working, and then when I was done with work... <laughs> I drove up to Portland and I went to go see Godzilla X Mechagodzilla awesome, or Godzilla nice. against Mechagodzilla in the theaters cool. with my son Tiger. And cool. we had a. How was he? Super, How was he doing? He, he's good. Tiger is good. Um, he's at a he's at a precipice precipice in his life right now. Where I'm so glad I said that wrong word first, but his uh, <laughs> he's finished school and so now he's looking for work and so. Um, nice. trying to yeah. trying to make sure that everything's all dialed in with that guy before I leave the country. Yeah, <laughs> you know, yeah. be a responsible father <laughs> for once in my life. But the uh, <laughs> the deal was that I just wanted to say that this Godzilla Day, starting in Japan and going all the way through the broadcast of Godzilla versus Mech Godzilla, uh, Godzilla against Mech Godzilla, and technically it didn't really even end there because every day from the third on the shout factory stream they had uh john carpenter introducing mm. a different godzilla movie yeah and that's they, right they that's I think right. it was like they played four or five godzilla movies with little introductions little interstitials with john carpenter talking about them so godzilla day this year as we say a lot as fans godzilla day is every day but whoa what a great godzilla week we had oh, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. a month so yes, far yes, we did. So yeah and I, I really i think that this this event is just getting better and better every year and mm -hmm. uh it makes me really excited for next year and what's yes. going to happen for Godzilla yes. Day next year? Yeah. Because next year it's going to be the release of, of the new movie. Film. Yes. So, man, so just... And then the start of the Finally. 70th anniversary year. So yes. oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh my gosh, that's right. Yeah, this, this is just yeah, Jaguar, an baby. amazing wow. time to be wow. a fan of Godzilla or Ultraman. We have Shin Ultraman coming out in theaters soon. That's right. uh, yeah. Even though it's yeah. a limited engagement, that means we're probably going to get it on Blu-ray soon after that. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. uh, in addition to that, like legendary fans have a MonsterVerse movie coming yeah. out in the next couple of years. Yes. Uh, the series, um, ILM and mm -hmm. Subaraya have been working on a collaboration Ultraman mm -hmm. event. And Very I just recently somebody that. saw the director posting about it on Twitter, how excited he is about it. So now Aww. it's time to start maybe getting excited wow. about that. Yeah. And the Gamera, Gamera series. Yeah. The Gamera <laughs> series. Jeez. We, that came out of left freaking field for me. I thought, <laughs> how can this time before the episode get any more packed with cool stuff? And then <laughs> you boom. Boom. It's all the time. It's all the time. I thought for sure Kyle knew about it because I even mentioned it. Kyle, so you knew about this, right? He's like, mm -hmm. nope, I didn't know anything I, about it. And, and if I one. may, Kyle, if I may take one second. Sure. Now, if you guys saw any of the, the events posted in various places for Godzilla Day, you may have noticed a pretty cool logo, a blue logo of the 62 Godzilla said Godzilla Day on there. Our very own Kyle Yount designed that. 
and oh, that was awesome. viewed like <laughs> 300,000 times yeah. in the different sites between Instagram and Twitter. And it, someone said it showed up in their movie theater. Uh, someone said it was at a bar for uh, a trivia thing. So oh. ha- hats off to you, Kyle, for Thank you getting much. that kind of exposure in the fandom. That's awesome. I mean, Mm-hmm. And if you guys didn't know, that's that's his work, and he's a talented dude, and it's about Thank time. Thank you very much. And hopefully like he'll David, get to do it next David. year, too. Yes, yes, sir. And your photo was again shared by the official Godzilla. Oh, Lord. right. Twitter. Oh, yes, 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 oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yes. David, you're, your photo. To you too. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you very Absolutely. much. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's definitely uh, weird to see it being, you know, uh, tweeted and posted on Instagram and uh, that 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 was actually I that was from my my Godzilla day photo I don't care when they posted they could post it a month from now as long as they do it doesn't matter but <laughs> yeah I, I was very very uh, surprised stoked and honored that 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 was on their website too so awesome thank you awesome. so yeah. all kinds of fun things happening here in collect all monsters and uh, I just wanted to not you know end this episode without saying that and give a tribute to Kyle so, so. thank you very awesome. much I appreciate that now let's welcome. shift that spotlight off me and where I'm uncomfortable talking about myself. Oh, stop. And let's, <laughs> let's talk. We got about 10 minutes before we're connecting with Jonathan. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up. What am I going to do here? Mm, I'm going to open up a few photos that were sent to me yesterday by our good friend, Chris eaten of the kaiju kingdom podcast Hmm. and essentially these should get zoomed to select size and hide the sidebar and basically chris went to the designer con preview night the vip early early deal uh, so he he got to see some of this stuff like in person with almost nobody else around. This is the, know, this is from the Mondo booth. That's this is the Hetera Anatomy that's huge. figure. Wow, that's... It is massive. I mean, this thing, really, oh, it's that. like just as big as their Ghidra statue. Guys, save your pipe. pennies, man. Wait till you see yeah, it. So cool. much yeah. Wow. They had like Mondo just had some cool stuff. Monster Patrol toys. Oh, you Monster, Monster Patrol nice. toys. Monster Patrol toys is their class act, man. If you anybody you're in the LA area, Little Tokyo, yeah, please check them out. I love that Rodan. The Rodans are awesome. Little yeah, monsters. Cool. You guys see the little monster on his shoulder? I want, I want a, the Rodan. It's cool. I, I, I think I need to get a 64 Rodan. Mm-hmm. That's fantastic. Yeah. So, so Designer Con happens every year, except the COVID, of course, destroying all that stuff. <clears throat> um, and, like, I guess what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, put it out to you guys <clears throat> while I do a little coordination with Jonathan and get him set up. But, like, what what do you guys know about designer con or what have what have been some cool designer con things that have happened in the past that you've been like oh man i wish i was there for that because we did talk about going as collect all monsters mm-hmm. to last designer year con this year yeah i said no, i w- wish i would have went this year i've never been like i definitely want to go because um i mean well mondo always has amazing items at their table mm-hmm. i mean I- everyone there does though but I don't know, lately, the past couple of years, I've really been on a Mondo kick. I love the soft vinyl figures they're coming out with. That Glitter Space Godzilla, oh, it's I'm really all really over nice. that. It's really and nice. And the yeah, it's really awesome. away. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, this is, it's like so exciting, and there's so many different things that they were showcasing there. Even not like physically and like on display, but they had like a, somebody showed like a, they had like a TV screen in the back showing things that were upcoming, images oh, yeah. of things they had upcoming. Did you guys happen exciting. to catch that image that somebody posted of, uh, I think it's a 54 Godzilla with a little uh, oxygen I mean, girl on his tail? Yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. it's, it's like a drawing of cool. what what is coming for that. That's going to be really cool. Um, oh, oh, that was really Kyle cool. Kyle and I were surprised to see that one uh, a- area, that one booth that had the Ultraman stuff that had a really cool Ella King and a very dynamic mm-hmm. pose. Oh, yeah. And and a very insectoid looking Balton Sage and that's really kind of vertically sculpted and um, really cool little uh, Sofubi Garamon too. I wouldn't mind picking that up. Just just like surprises like oh and the Bemlar, the Bemlar. Mm-hmm. There's a oh my gosh the Bemlar uh, so cool. seismic like toys 
uh, our oh, friends nice. at Seismic Toys yeah. will be releasing <laughs> that memoir. Um, I think it's pending oh. li licensing, right, Kyle? Is that what they said yesterday? Oh uh, yeah, that's or, what the little corner cool. said. All yeah, but that, but yeah. hopefully we will see that Bemlar. Um, that'll be my mm -hmm. first seismic piece because I think it looks freaking amazing. And hopefully we'll see it today. Um, I don't know. Did, did did you guys watch? Oh yeah, go hey. ahead. Let's talk about that. Oh. Go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Up from the depths, thirty stories tall. Yeah. <laughs> They're supposedly doing a premium scat statue of the Hanna Barbera guys. Really? Kind of like what we talked about with the Tokyo SOS Godzilla. And the 89 that came out, I think, last yeah. year. Yes, uh, or yeah. Mothra. But this is going to be the Hanna-Barbera in, in like a diorama type of statue. That would be with fantastic. With two alternate heads. Two alternate heads. One where he blows fire and one that has a laser beam eyes. Oh, I love the laser beam eyes. I know some fans <laughs> don't like that. they going to put the calico I in love there. The laser, I love the laser beam eyes. No, no, no. I don't think so. But Gazuki's in there. That's most oh, important. Oh, good. Gazuki <laughs> is on the statue. He's like on the... He's like on Godzilla's tail flying mm -hmm. in the background like this. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you, know? you know, I have a, a love-hate relationship oh, with Godzuki so. because you know there's those people, those people who don't understand this stuff. They say, oh, so you like Godzilla. Do you like Godzuki? <laughs> Everybody said that. Yeah. And it's just like, I just want to slap them yeah. like, 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 you know, Dave Chappelle does is, you know, Rick James, just slap them. <laughs> One of the five <laughs> fingers shit in the face. Slap. You know, oh, oh, well, oh, we got an alarm sounding, you uh -oh. guys. Uh -oh. I think it's uh -oh. time. Uh -oh. It's time to connect to our good friend, Mr. Uh -oh. Jonathan Portman, who is right <laughs> now at the Designer Con. What's hey, up, Jonathan. dude? Let me give you the big screen here. <laughs> Hello, Jonathan Portman. <laughs> can we hear you? Can you hear us? Can you hear you guys? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes we can. Yes, All right. How's it going, guys? It's Hi, Jonathan. Great, man. Thank you for hey, being thank here. Thank you so much. Thank you, you got for your jacket the on, I see. Yeah, absolutely. I've been, you know, tuned into the stream. You guys are doing a great job as always. But, you know, I'm here. A little special event going on at DCon here, Designer Con in Anaheim, California. Uh, right, I'm actually right behind uh, 52 Toys right now, or right in front of 52 Toys. So I'm going to flip nice. the camera here so you guys can see a little bit right on. what's going on. Fantastic. Let's see here. Yeah. 52 Toys. This is the company that David was just talking about with oh, the Balkan and the, and the, and the Ella Bible, King and the Garamond. Well, it's not a coincidence. Oh, I wow. forgot to mention that. Yeah, the James Crow and Alien here wow. on display. Wow. wow. Ooh. 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 Somewhere oh, this one with the 54 is going to be kind of like the Godzilla Beautiful. 54. Right? And down here. Oh, shoot. Oh, oh that's the Ella King I was just talking about. Yeah. Ella King Fierce. right here. Wow. Isn't that look, look at those those whatever they are those thingies on his head? Super cool. They're amazing. That is one badass cool, alligator, right? Yeah. Oh my That'll goodness. be a fierce animation or 3D. Here we go. Four ninety nine. Okay. All it's right. For the water, the sea is pretty penny, but that's okay. Now look 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 at this Bolton. If he's up there somewhere, is the Bolton up there? Uh the Bolton is not here. Yeah. This oh, is basically oh, they nobody it. bought him. This is basically oh, can, it of oh, what's on display here. All the other stuff has been sold. Or, oh shoot! You know, and the Garamond's gone too. Yeah, oh, yeah, the Garamond's yeah. gone. This is basically their table. And if you hear the music oh. behind me, there's a DJ bringing the bringing the vibes. You know, like they do. I'm not really hearing the music too much, but that's all right. You're not hearing the music. That's, that's actually probably that's a good, good thing. That's probably good. I, I, we don't no, it's good. Right, that was, that good. was the problem. I thought it was no, I can hear you loud. perfectly. It's good. So. Still out. Oh, this is great. I I thought the music was gonna drown me out, but I'm I'm glad about that. Okay. So, we got a little ways to watch. Some of these places are kind of um, spread out from each other. That's all right. So, we're gonna, we're gonna take a little walk. We're gonna take a little walk, as you can see. We're just gonna I'm just gonna show you some cool, cool footage, some establishing. <laughs> of what's Somebody going wrote, on here. I think Jonathan should make a live purchase so we could all see how that goes. Yeah, I like that. Uh, you know, it's funny. I, I've been, I went around earlier. I was kind of looking at stuff and mentally in my mind saying, okay, that's mine. That's mine. That's mine. So after this, I'll probably end up doing that. That might be, that might be too messy. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. It's super but here, All right. look who we have. Oh super yeah. Let me give you the full screen for super seven. In the flesh. Absolutely. Nice. So here we have a bunch of really cool displays, a bunch of stuff that, you know, you might like, you might not like. We got some Ninja Turtles and whatnot, but the real stuff that we want to see is right around the yeah, corner right. here. Obviously, we got the two shirts. 
Oh, I love that shirt. You got the anatomy shirts? I need to get one of those. There's Black also this one, yeah, Mecha Godzilla. I really Mecha want Godzilla. the Mecha Godzilla. Oh, one. John, you got to get that. And there's actually no. It's here. This, this is my, this might be mine. I don't know. This is a medium, so it's my size. It's the only uh -oh. one left. I don't know. Uh -oh. Live purchase, everybody. Uh -oh. Watch out. Let's get that <laughs> siren started again. <laughs> get the siren go. My there purchase. you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. We got the glow in the darks over here. These are actually really fun little figures. I have a few of these. I have the Mothra one. They're they're very cool. The, the Rodan one's pretty neat. I, I'm I'm a big fan of those. And then over here we have the the you know Godzilla masks. Oh, yeah, John masks. just showed one of those. Which cool. I was, Here's the Mecha. Yeah, which I was yeah. told. I was told they're basically like repros of the uh, of the bottle openers, which is kind of interesting. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, that but makes here is a where, lot of sense yeah. actually. Uh, mm -hmm. I Here is oh, what that reissuing. We all yeah, want to see. This, we saw this guy last night. Yeah, pretty cool. Awesome. Pretty, so I cheap. so cool. I mean, my goodness, yeah. head to tail. I love the box too. That yeah. box is amazing. Yeah. She's back, everybody. And that's pretty yeah. much yeah. it for Super Seven, though. I missed it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. And for your for your Reptar fans, for your Reptar fans, you know, in the house, Godzilla, oh. Godzilla look like. Gosh, cute. It's pretty, pretty. That's yeah, actually it's really big. That's, adorable. That's, that's too you big. can put I, him I on the base. Put him on the base with Godzuki. Hello, uh, <laughs> <laughs> doggies. Oh, doggies. Dog All right. As as we keep walking, I have a little bit of an escort here. This is very official. Yes, yes, yes. This is James Patrick LaRock, everybody. Hello, hello. What's up, James? Kevin Smith here as well. What's up, Kevin Smith? Hey, Where's Kevin. Kevin Smith? Not the director. Hey, hey, Kevin Smith. Kevin Smith is right here. Hey. We, it's a David wee says, bit hello. choppy, Jonathan. <laughs> just Hi, Kevin. Up. It's a little choppy? Oh, okay. Oh, Let's sorry, play sorry. monikers, not Kevin. Fault. It's, Probably not it's good just the internet. In there. Yeah. It, it, it's, it's a shame because I have this on a gimbal. It's very smooth from like mm. what my view, oh. so that's important. Oh. You guys can't see it. Oh no! Wow, it's massive in there. My God! Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is. Oh we're, we're walking right now past eBay. Yeah, thank you. Bye eBay. Bye. Bye well, scalpers. EBay. Okay. Yeah. Bye scalpers. Uh, oh, <laughs> now we're heading to one of the big the big guys here. The money. The money oh, that's show. smooth right there. That's, clean. Up here. that's good, Jonathan. Whatever you're doing now, that's perfect. Good service. Oh yeah, nice. Good service in the corner. I think I'm walking. I'm I'm close to the uh, the exit. That's probably why. Probably oh. some signal. Mm -hmm. it's getting closer to the uh, outdoors. Oh, you know, this is wow, look at that. All, yeah. all things considered, exactly it's not cool. all that crazy busy. Like I, I expect it's to not. Be people there. It's really not. It was earlier. It what it was when I first got here. But hmm. as we can see up here, oh, oh look at that. Wow. We have some, we have some LPs. Here. We also have yeah. the A4. Look at it. Oh, nice. Is that the oh, one you got, beautiful. Christine? Yes. Yeah, oh, nice oh, work. Beautiful Thanks, work, right? Thank you, James. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then below here, we have oh, look, I love that. I love that. some Rodan action. Yeah, oh, very this. cool. They're yeah, so cute. I like oh that color God. one. Mm, it's beautiful. Hey, look at the, look at the yeah. one with Mothra. Space Godzilla is awesome. Wow. Space Godzilla. This is like the Trend Master Space Godzilla. Well, that's a must-have. Yeah, like, yeah, like, yeah, that's man. beautiful. Oh, I like the that's other one better. Hmm. I have the glitter I, one. I don't need no damn Trend Masters. <laughs> David gets traumatized at the mention of Trend Master. I oh, am. Right. It's a trigger there, there, for me. Look how big oh, that statue is. Oh my is. god. Whoa. How much is that going to be? To be determined. Now this is late 2023. Oh, price TBD. to be determined. Okay. It's going to be soft vinyl. It's going to be soft I'm gonna vinyl. I'm going to save up for that. Fantastic. Now imagine how that's going to so look cool. when it's with all the colors yeah. are on it. Oh my god. Be amazing. Beautiful. Oh, that we guy's trying to help. We can do biology class. <laughs> yes, we can. How about Dorats. I love the Dorats. Dorats. Start with nice. their cute little Dorats, everybody. Damn cute. So cute. That, that'll make Price a great turn by itself. I just, see, I just I saw Mother. The There's Mother. Yeah, no one the wow. There's Mother. Awesome. Sell those you know what? Mother. I, I kind of I dig that. I do, That's too. That's really cool. Honestly, I like the Ghidorah, too. I mean, Me it's too. different. Decadors. I'm not yeah, mad at it. It makes it look a little more interesting than the actual one from the it's movie, not, honestly. You know what? Yeah, right. You're not wrong, Kyle. I like I, it too. I like the pose. I, I, the so the cool. scales look better for some reason now. That gator is better than the initial picture. It is. You absolutely, it's so gold. You're absolutely right. It's much better than the original pictures. And the scales. Look at the scales. Wow. It looks like it's getting me the base and mother. I'm getting that. Yeah. It is. Oh, I ain't yeah, got the room for that. No. I got Okay, I'll just show you. I'm pretty sure you is can that tell Brian how massive from it Super is, Seven literally behind you right now. Is that? Oh my God, that would be cool. 
Where? Brian Where? Where you? Behind you. <laughs> this is going to be difficult to do now. Don't yeah, worry. I like it. Batman and Robin. All of this. Yeah, you ain't lying, John. Oh, we see Batman. Hector over here. Wow. Yeah. There's Hector. They're nice. Hey, Hector. Oh, what's up, Hector? Oh, hey, Hector. 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 I like the monsters, peeps. Oh, yeah, I don't know what you doing? What's up, Hector? Oh, David, Christine. Yep. How are you? You know, chilling at, at, you know, Decon. Looking at your wonderful, amazing work. That you always do. Of course. Hi. If you come, if you come around real quick, you can see them. They're just right here. Time for us to wave, guys. Yeah. Time for us to wave at our tiny little screen. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put a face to the name. There you go. There you go. That was a little awkward. Uh, right on. Sorry about that. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm the same way. Collect all oh, monsters. Yeah, we're just it, this is the first. This is our this is our third stop, right down the way, and this is like one of the main stops for me. So, and and sure for everybody else too. We we all love your work and all the things you do. Uh, guys, the tower, please. Guys, the tower. Oh yeah, that's a tower. Awesome. Very cool. Awesome, nice awesome work. man. Well, it's good. It's good yeah. seeing you. Good chatting with you for a little bit. We're gonna kind of see what else is in here. But man, cheers. Bye. Bye. All right. Thank you. Okay, oh, that, that was awesome. rad. That was really rad. Well timed. Hopefully uh, you could, so, hopefully you could hear him because oh, of my you, you know ear pods. Okay. There we go. We got we got you know, some guys that, on display now. That's the glitter one. The glitter one is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. that that's the original color. That's pretty too. But I'm all about that. Yeah, this glitter one. That. Look at that, man. Yeah. Look at the shine <laughs> on that. Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's intense. Beautiful. beautiful. That's okay, very that's, that's very silky. Yeah, it's, oh, it's I feel like they it's they knocked that one out of the park in terms of mm -hmm. making it look like Japanese mm -hmm. stuff. Oh, yeah, the glitter yes. yeah. You know what? Yeah. You're absolutely right. You're right. Boy, those that's crystals beautiful. are. Oh yeah, that's coming. That's coming. Look at. Wow, look at her. Look at, look wow, beast. Mm -hmm. Gosh. She looks like a crocodile. Mm -hmm. She's so pretty. Look, oh, look at that yellow one. Yeah, that's, that's a yeah, that's a. I believe that's one of the customs here that they've yet to show. That's one of the um the su oh. the sunrise version. That's one of the exclusives, David. This orange. Yeah. Oh, in the dark too. Wow. I'm yeah. I'm perfectly satisfied with my cherry blossom. I'm I'm stoked. For oh, that. that one's beautiful. <laughs> cherry blossom is beautiful. Oh, there's the blue one. Oh, that's one you so got. Pretty. Yeah, Cheers. Christine. Yeah, it's the blue it's like one. a cellophane inside of it. Look how cool he is. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's oh, filled. Sure. I didn't realize he was filled with something. Yeah, there's a cellophane inside of it. Oh, nice. oh yeah. Yeah. I guess Excellent. you can kind of see it here. Hmm, looks yeah. like a diamond. Jonathan, These your are all, looks great. The picture all does look great right term. now, Jonathan. Yeah, it does. Oh, really, thank really you. Really good. Well, this is, this is the power of the iPhone 14 Pro. So. Yeah, all right. That's, oh, that's, that's, I, that's, I, I just got mine last week. Oh, I know. Oh, Jonathan, Hec Hector's statue looked over there. Oh, can nice. you go to that after you're done? Oh, of course. Yeah, yeah. That's the. I just wanted to show some of these off. Real quick, yeah, oh, the new Mecca post oh, here. Yeah. Peter, all yeah. Attack yeah. Peter, which is yeah. amazing yeah, work by him as always. Night. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow, look at that. Here we got we got vinyl playing on here. This is nice. my favorite. This is my oh, jam right here. This is what I'm here for. Yeah, this is your cup of tea. Nice. It's my cup of tea right there. Ooh, wow. we got we got the play. Everybody's playing it. Record. We got the vinyl collection like, here. Oh, nice. Record. Yeah, this, that I love this. Game. By the way, look at that. Oh, yeah, oh, I saw that last awesome. night. That's yeah. Did you wow. see how those are on different colors? Like every poster is a different color of the of the header. I did not know like, that. So they're actually, if you oh. were to like go buy one, you might not get the the green version there. You might get like a purple version, <coughs> like a red. Oh version. no, wait, really? Oh, that's, yeah. cool. that's cool. I didn't know that. And now yeah, we come to yeah. the, oh. the the spotlight yeah, of the day right here. Awesome. Really front and center. He's front and center. It's really 595. nice. 595. Wow. Yeah. That's... Mm. Mm. Yeah, well, now. I, just, I love all the extras that they put into looks, these wow. statues. It looks... Like, fantastic. you don't just get a statue. You get all these extra pieces that will come mm -hmm. with it. I love yes, that. They do I that. I love that, too. Now, yeah. now, now, Jonathan, here's a question for you that we forgot to ask uh, Nick last night, or if we did, I don't, don't remember. Um, are any of these things available to purchase, or are they all just to see what's coming? Well, this is available now. Right, but that's the other true. things, oh, a, a lot of these, a lot of these other things are to be determined. You know, so got it. A lot of these it. have no release dates, but and, but a lot of them say 2023. So I'd be willing to bet 2023 mm -hmm. for sure. Look at that mean mug. I know it's great. It's a great. Oh, skull. That's that's a great, great. Great. Beautiful sculpt. Yeah. You know, it's interesting though because the Bolton is sold and the Garamond is sold. So I guess they were available to 
to sell right. the right price for the price is right for the right price. <laughs> and that's, of course, like being. And that's Mondo, oh, that's ladies great. and gentlemen. Nice, Ex man. Thank you. Nice nice. Oh, uh, there's also one thing. I, I, I forgot something. Sorry. Coming over here. I'm going to show <laughs> some, uh, some more off here. This, there's, here's the Matongo. You get, they, mm. they have it open here with the sticker oh. and everything oh, and the display. Oh, I love the sticker. And up here we have by Alante. There she is. This one says 125 Oh, wow. Order here. Order here at the booth. Oh. First chance. You know, that seems very here. reasonable can, for a speaker that size. We can pre-order here. We can pre-order wow. here. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, look at that. I, I mean, love this the gold is, glitter. Just, for a figure that size, yeah. that's a very well, reasonable like, in, a, in the best way. <laughs> I'm just like, yeah. There's the box, actually. That's the packaging for it. This is the packaging? Okay. Oh, for the Biolante? Oh, 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 it's Tom's oh, art. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's wow. beautiful. Tom Whalen art. That's great. Wow. Oh, I got Tom's that poster. Art? Yeah, Tom Whalen's yeah, art. Very cool. Wow. End of this month, it's yeah, shipping? Yeah. Oh. All of them. Oh, wow. All of them are All yes. the yes. colored ones. Oh, wow. Okay. Everybody. Very cool. Does beautiful that box. include the pink one from, from uh, San Diego? Uh, Kyle says, one. does that include the pink one from San Diego? Yeah, yeah. That does include yeah, the pink all, one from San Diego. Yay. Wow. wow. Yay. The, everyone's cheering oh over there. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. exciting. I am ready. <laughs> we bought some of our uh, sold out Dead Jaguars. And sold have, out? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, mean, I don't doubt. Oh, I like the cherry blossom one. Okay. I know it was cool. Hey, Leslie, would you get a cherry blossom Jet Jaguar? We do no. Okay. Oh, I was just checking. Okay, by the way, I, oh, I got to plug this real quick. I know y'all aren't fans of Rebirth of Mothra. I'm not really a fan of the movies themselves, but the music is phenomenal. This one right here is the best score, and I'm so excited to actually own this. I know Nick picked me up one last night. I'm very excited. Anyway, that's cool. just my little – that's just my little – That's all right. You're loud. The artwork is pretty stunning. That's John's pick. Mm -hmm. That's my pick. Yeah. Oh yeah. And uh, a cool we had video. a request oh, to it. show the James Groman Godzilla. The yes. James Groman oh, Godzilla. The, it's on the screen. Oh, yeah, so that's oh, oh, oh I can do that. It Hang turns, on a second. So it turns Actually, on the screen, but I don't think yeah, we have, yeah, I, don't I got think that. It's, Here you go. This is that. That's the one I was talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, that's oh, from that's this awesome. screen. Yeah. yeah. yeah so. So they've got uh, three slides oh. that show up on that TV. So that's the the. Godzilla getting killed by the oxygen destroyer. Mm -hmm. This is oh. the Kiryu concept oh, right. for yeah, the right, statue right. Awesome. that will be matching oh the one that they're selling now, the Tokyo SS. And, and the Mothra. It matches the Mothra, wow. too. All, yeah. all and the oh, there's, oh, there's oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. Wow. There you go. All right. Okay. Oh, so if, 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 everyone's, if everyone's good. Oh, I did show them this. Yes. If, if everyone's good here, I will be happily uh, move on. We, we got a little bit of a walk, but we, we're going to be hitting Max Toy, Marasan, and we'll see oh, Sun Guts yes. as well. They're all in the same little, they're on the same, oh, uh, little uh, row there, so it's very nice. Here's Metacom. Now, the Metacom oh, yeah, I has, a line, oh. has a line. I, 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 oh. would, I would happily stand in here if you guys want, but I don't know. It's up to you no, guys. No, go, you know? go to the other area. Can I just ask you, Jonathan, what is the scale of that damn skeleton? Wow. Is it on there? Is it listed on there? I, what, I mean, what is the scale of the skeleton? Do you guys know? It's 50 centimeters. It's 50 centimeters. Oh, so it is oh, 50 wow. centimeters. Oh, 50 damn. centimeters. Damn. Okay, thank you. That's that's kind of what I wanted to know and see what a 50 centimeters. Cool logo. Cool yeah. logo. Wow. And we're just, you know, we're moseying along. We got a bunch of bears, you know, the bears. Everyone bear bricks. The bear bricks. Yeah. The bear bricks. <laughs> yeah, the bear bricks. I think I, nice. the bear bricks, yeah. So, Have uh, you gotten lost you know, in here yet, Jonathan? Uh, you know what's funny is I've been to WonderCon which, a few times, which is in this same building, but uh, I walked in here and I was definitely lost. I ended I first <laughs> When I first got here, I, there was a cheerleading competition in the next building, so I, mistake, <laughs> oh. I mistook myself. I was like, Dude, where am I registered? And they're like, uh, for Decon, what is that? And I was like... I think I'm in the wrong area. Give me, like a squad. Give me a and I'm, I've got this. I've got this Godzilla. <laughs> oh my God, yeah. that's funny, Kyle. Yeah. If he would have said that to them, give me a D, give me a C, <laughs> give me an O, give me an N. What does that spell? I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> yeah, I, I literally felt I, I had like egg on my face. I was just that's like, hysterical. Oh, okay, well, that's I guess hysterical. I had more. I had more time to walk. I was just more disappointed that I had more time to walk because I was already. Uh, 
It, 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 it was actually pretty warm today. Is so that I had my James, jacket Patrick on. I was like, the Rock right there? This is James right here. Yes, he's leading us to our next destination. Everyone says hello, James. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like cutting you up. Nick, all right, we're going to be coming up on Nick and, and Mark. Oh, Nick's and, working uh, with Mark. That's right. Oh, cool. Yeah, so oh, these guys nice. are all, are they in the Creature Bazaar area or is that all a different section? Uh, Cre Creature Bazaar is a different, uh, they're, they're kind of in the back, but we could take you there after this. No, don't worry about it. We, I already got to see him last yes, uh, last night with Nick, thanks. Okay. But yeah. He, and here we are. Yeah, Max awesome. Toy. At famous hey. Max Toy. Wow, cool. Max Toy. Mark Nagata again. Mark, Mark Nagata. Mark. Hi, Mark. Welcome Monsters. Kyle and, and David and Christine and John and hey. Leslie, the whole crew is here. Hey. We're all waving. We're all waving. Uh, We're all waving. <laughs> all the secrets. All the amazingness right here. Look at this, guys. Oh, that's I fantastic. You got a oh, Sofubi man beautiful. there. Right? Oh, there it is. Oh, oh did you guys know there's oh, going to be a Sofubi so woman? So yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah, right there. Oh, oh, so so woman. Fantastic. It's funny you, you, you just pointed to that because they just brought it up, too. That was perfect timing. <laughs> Yeah, we had a I love how had a to make preview it. last night. Yeah, oh, that is fantastic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we got to get one of those. Wow. Wow. That's awesome. Oh, wow. That is so that is cool. cool. Yes. Oh, look at that camera. Awesome. Yeah, the camera is awesome. Amazing. By the way, I, I, I had to pre order all these Ultramans. Man. I love them so much. I, I love know, your work so much. You're digging those Ultraman. Yeah, I know. Those Ultraman are phenomenal. Oh, there's the blue one. Yeah. Oh, the blue oh, oh, the blue wow. one's great. Yeah. Oh, I bet Nick's, Nick's digging those those buildings, right? <laughs> yes. Yes, Nick is definitely digging digging the buildings. He loves the buildings. A set of mm -hmm. buildings for your kaiju to destroy. Nick yep. loves the buildings. Yeah. Oh, that Canagon. Oh, yeah. The Canagon is so cool. I've got the marbled Canagon. I'm stoked with that. Oh, that's the Paul Komoda uh, collaboration, right? Oh, look Ooh, at that. Nice. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, 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 the Canagon oh, glows. Oh, nice, wow. nice, 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 nice. Show me the, oh, the Komodo wow. statue under the yeah. black light. The nice. Komodo statue? The one in yeah, the right behind you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. gosh. Wow. Beautiful. Stunning. Stunning. Mm. Wow. Stunning. Mm -hmm. Stunning. That's very Paul Komoda esque. I love uh, I love everything Mark's doing these days. I, I yeah, really do. This Dresseran, so classic. Yeah. Just nice. everything nice. here is just you know nice. top notch, top notch artistry mm -hmm. at its finest. Yeah, the Mazinga is awesome. <laughs> oh, oh wow. So I don't make these, but I'm just helping them sell. So they don't. So so Mark, they they don't make these, but they're okay, just helping cool. them sell. Right on. Nice. We have yeah. always the, the amazing, nice. you know, the amazing illustrations right here. Yeah, everything on the table is stunning. Powerful, beautiful. Right on, Mark. Congratulations. Yeah, fantastic. Congratulations, Mark. Right on. Thanks, guys. It's okay. good seeing you. Okay. Take care. Bye. Take care. <laughs> we got sun guts right oh, here. Oh, sun oh, guts. Oh, nice. Oh, awesome. Wow, that's huge. Wow. What was that big? Hi. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. 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 Oh, yes. 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 in the back. Yeah. <clears throat> these are all. These are all. Oh, these are all the ones wow. that went. Sold out. Sold out. Oh, sold, out. Yes. sold out. Sold out. Sold out. That's awesome. I'd love to go meet him. So sorry, guys, if you were looking to get one of these guys, they uh, the beautiful work here. It just yeah. He has it goes fast. Cool, it goes fast. Cool stuff. Yeah. The oh, is so that the cool. kaiju boy? Yeah, I love those. The kaiju, oh, the kaiju building boys? boy. The ki yeah, kaiju oh, that's boy. pretty cute. That's pretty cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> I love cool. it so much. So cool. Just, just take all of our money. I know, okay. right? Oh my, take I'd it. be so broke going to the I love the Jaws head. You know what, Christine? Me too. It's dangerous. Oh, yeah. I'm saving Jaws head down here? here? Yeah, that's fantastic. Does he have the Jaws that comes with the... Oh, I forget what the name of the little guy is. Oh, hey, are we going here. to Marison next guys. soon? Yeah. Nothing? Okay. You can I, if you I, want. I, I I was wondering if they have those little giraffes there. Are they? They're mm. probably little long giraffes? gone. Yeah. Oh. Take care. Thank you. Hi. Thank look, you. Hi. Look where we are. Hey, 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 hey. Nobu. Hey. The crew oh, is Nobu. here. Hello. All Nobu. The crew is the Collecto <laughs> Monsters crew is all. We all all waving. 
Hi. All love, baby. All love. Nice to see you. Cool. Oh, wow. Pride and Joys. Oh the Pride and Joys oh, right here. Yes. Oh. We love, we love Monster Patrol toys. Oh, oh scary. Oh, 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 that's intense. <laughs> scary. So cool. Yeah, brilliant. Oh, oh, oh yes. Yeah, nice. nice. <laughs> oh, my God. That is so cute. That's so awesome. Cute. Love it. I love it so much. I love oh, this stuff. Goodness. Tell, tell Nobu oh. I love her glasses. <laughs> Jonathan. Nobu, David loves your glasses. David loves your glasses. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Are they pumpkins? Oh my god, yes. that's horrible. That's cute. Oh, that's great. What a it fun thing. It's so cool to be able to see this stuff live. Yeah, Jonathan, Luke, thank you, know. you so much thank for doing this for us. Yeah. Woohoo. Genius. Jonathan gets wow. gold star oh for today. Gosh, oh, look at those! Does. Look at those you know, students. Oh, those are great. Those yeah. Yeah. students. Those are yeah. Cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love them. Oh, oh. I, I absolutely yeah. love. Very, okay. very terrifying. Style. Style. Is that Monster Patrol? Or else? Yeah, cool. that's still Monster Patrol. But that is Kaminaga oh, San sitting to the right there. Oh, that's fantastic! Oh. Wow. That oh, it's like so good. Is, is just I follow so these good. guys on Instagram, oh. actually. The the guys that make those great, oh, great at, shop, by the way. Great wow. shop, great people. Their shop oh. curated perfectly, yeah. really neatly, wonderfully in Little Tokyo. It's really, I went, it's really I went a little gem times. there. I went three times and I was only there for four days. <laughs> That's the monster, monster patrol stuff right here. Yeah, and Bye. There we go, Monster Patrol. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. They're great I love people. you guys. I love you guys. I'll be back. I'll be back around. Bye. Such great people. <laughs> and now we have Kaminaga-san. Kaminaga-san. Oh, awesome. hey. tell, tell him we said happy, happy belated birthday. birthday. Yeah. David, oh. David Dob Cohen and Kyle Yount and all the Collect All Monsters crew say happy birthday. Happy belated. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, right? Man. This is great. Just amazing stuff. Amazing stuff. Ultraman. And they just recently oh, had a pop up yeah. with Monster Patrol Little Tokyo yes. on oh, Friday, I believe, right? Green. Was it Friday or was it Thursday? I think it was those Thursday. are the, uh, all of those yeah. are the Marison originals. Oh, he looked different. All, the front. all originals. Oh, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Great, great stuff. Great stuff. Very cool. Great stuff. Very nice. So cool. So cool. Awesome. Awesome, this as always. So Beautiful. Wow. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. Okay, guys. Um, what else do you want to see? There's. Oh, man. I, I feel like you, you just nailed all of the things that were on that well, hit me, list, dude. Let me, uh, you totally let, me, let me turn it back around. Let this... me turn it back around here. Yeah, let's see your face. Let's see Jonathan. Yeah. That's, oh, that's I mean, so... you see enough of me, I'm sure. But... Hey, let's give Jonathan a round of applause. Dude. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Guys, oh, thank you so I, much, dude. it was it was literally a pleasure to do this for you. And uh, you know, I'm just I'm just glad it worked out. I was kinda I was a little nerve wracking because I was like trying to get in right position. I was like, I, I hope I get everything they want to see. So I'm everything just glad that you fantastic. guys are fantastic. I just hope everyone enjoyed much. it. You know? Dude, I told you not to stress, you nailed it. <laughs> you know, I, I did. I, well, I appreciate that. I do. But uh and you know, I guess I'll just take it back to you guys live from Designer Con 2022 <laughs> in Anaheim, California. You guys enjoy the rest of the show, and I guess I'll be back on in a little bit for the uh, that's right, the Collector's Minute, right? Yeah, that's yeah. right, my friend. That's, that's right, right, buddy. <laughs> I just shoot, me a, just shoot me a little, uh, just shoot me a little note. So I you better I get wanna, you better get driving. Ahead. You better get a new okay. car. Not, I'm literally doing it from here. I'm doing oh, it from here. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to go outside and do it. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Awesome. Thanks so much, Thank Jonathan. You so See you in a minute. Thank you, Jonathan. Really appreciate it. See you in a minute. You're welcome. Love Thank you, guys. You. Love, you. Love you, too, buddy. Love you, too. Bye. more. Right wow. on. Yay. Wow. Fun. That was awesome. Great. I'm so hyped. Awesome. I'm so hyped to go. All right. You have to go? No, I said I'm so hyped to go there next oh, year. Oh, I said I have to go. Where are you going? <laughs> My brother would Whew. like to go next year. <clears throat> well, big thanks to Jonathan for doing that live yes. for Absolutely. us. Big thanks to Nick for doing that last night for us because that was a lot of fun mm -hmm. too. And big great. thanks to Chris Eaton for, for hooking us up with a bunch of images yes. of, and the uh, of the event as well. 
And uh, that's that essentially closes out our news items. <laughs> it's only taken us two hours to get here. No, we, I, we could have covered a lot more. Obviously, there's so, so much that has been covered. I would highly suggest if you're interested in checking out some of the other news stuff out there. As always, of course, go to kaijubattle.net to check out uh, all of the awesome, like, collectible stuff that is available for ordering and pre-ordering and so forth and uh also hi to mike farrow who's watching live right now Thanks, and mike. uh and yeah also you know check out check out any of those other things that we were talking about um i would say go to the godzilla channel on youtube and watch the godzilla streams if you're interested in watching those there's a lot of stuff that happened over this past month and it's like making my head spin just thinking about all the stuff that is you know what? that has been announced and released and has come out. Mm-hmm. You are not wrong, and you may be thinking to yourselves, "You guys aren't really talking about the new movie announcement." But you guys can go back and watch John Ruffin, Kyle Yount, and myself talk a little bit about our thoughts about the new movie. So that's available to watch too. So in when the we're group, really right, yeah. in the group, we really dive into you know a conversation about. Our, our hopes and our fears and our expectations mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So y'all killed the monsterverse. Really did. Y'all, there y'all are some fears. The y'all What's killed that? the monsterverse. You oh. y'all killed the monsterverse. But <laughs> not, <laughs> not intentionally. Not intentionally. <laughs> did we? No. I don't even remember killing no. it. I think I don't know if we killed it, but basically, what you're talking about is you're talking about <laughs> probably the three members of Collectible <laughs> Monsters that like the monsterverse the least. <laughs> <laughs> like talking about Probably, what yeah. we want from a I Japanese Godzilla film. Mm. I understand what you're saying. I understand what you're saying. But we but didn't yeah. intentionally <laughs> kill it. It wasn't our intention at all. Did. John did. I he tried to keep my mouth shut. The shit <laughs> was real. The tea was thick. <laughs> was, I know what I saw. I know what I saw, and John was like, uh, man, I don't want, man, you know what? Screw it. I'm going to say, da, 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 da. And he basically <laughs> took a knife, the monster burst, and just stabbed it like 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, we will have mercy. Uh, oh, mercy. my gosh. Oh, my now God. we got to go back and watch it again. I don't remember that too much, but. Ooh, we have fun, don't we, guys? Yep. <laughs> yes, we do. Got to watch do. our mouth. It's it was, it's mouth. been a ton of fun. And like I said, I feel like I've, I feel like I've been like on a stream every week or weekend since. Mm-hmm since the event happened i'm uh i don't need to keep talking about it because essentially our news segment is over but there's just a lot of a lot of stuff to digest that happened over the past month and we're here to talk about it with you guys now we're going to be doing this for the rest of the the time until we've got these things coming out uh and and happening in person so we're not uh we're actually Check this out. We're just gonna say hi to Ryan real quick. Hey Ryan, what's up, buddy? Hey. Hi Ryan. Hey. You're early, uh, but I'm gonna keep you. I'm gonna keep you on screen because we're just about to go take a break because we just got through the news segment and we're gonna come back with our Kazuki Amori tribute. But we've got our uh, our intermission, which is about two and a half minutes. So please stick around yeah. and stick around for the uh, for the Kazuki Amori chat. And hopefully, this is the correct intermission video I'm playing. <laughs> ちかごろ主人の帰りがなんだか早いんです。番組で楽しんで自分だけの殻を受けテープ作ったりして日本全国津田ララ今度は歌えるGDでをララ新登場すごい簡単気持ちいいヒタチあの怪獣は今スターと呼ばれた青春だった力の限りの青春だった時は過ぎゆく時代は変わるそれでも僕らは生きてゆく広い社会の片隅でつつま足やかに生きてゆくさあ送ってください君の傑作写真をバンダイウルトラ怪獣大変身コンテスト千年竜
ヤマトの守り神たちがゴジラにお前はヤマトの守り神なのかこの国は怪獣だらけか生き残るのは誰だゴジラモスラキングギドラ大怪獣総攻撃12月15日大公開映画館に来るとゴジハムくんプレゼントソリューションあすいません<笑>大きな音を出さないようにお願いしますシーで頭の管理は任せて安心大和興産なぜ広島に<笑>はい。He is the guy, the director behind Godzilla vs. b i o l a n t e and Godzilla vs. King Ghidra from 1991. And in addition to those two movies, he also screen wrote Mothra vs. or Godzilla vs. Mothra in 93 and、uh, helped with Godzilla vs. Destroya in 95.、Um, we're just going to talk a little bit about Kazuki Amori. Before we get into our discussion, and that's、uh, just, I'm going to showcase some of these photos that I have of him. That's him on the left, by the way. He's、uh, on the far left, that's from 1989. This is Koichi Kawakita, the special effects director. Then that's Amori next to him. And then that's Tanaka, the old guy. <laughs> Tomuyuki oh my goodness. Tanaka. Tomuyuki Tanaka. Wow. And holding hands with Godzilla.、Yeah. Wow. And then the two Biolante actors、wow. on, the, on the right hand side. Um, Omori was brought on board after Godzilla 1985 to direct Godzilla vs. b i o l a n t e And he was not somebody who you would normally think of as a, a director for a giant monster movie. He had never done anything in the genre before, never done anything in science fiction or special effects movies either. He just had sort of like a solid career. And I guess one of the bigwigs at Toho liked what he had done recently and basically asked him to direct the movie.、Mm-hmm. And even when I think the, <laughs> even when he said, like, oh, I don't, I, don't, do you, I don't think you really want me to do this, Toho was like, yeah, you should totally do this. <laughs> like, there's him with Koichi Sugiyama, the.、Uh, The musician who created the soundtrack for Godzilla vs. b i o l a n t e It's him on set. It's a, it's a ton of stuff here from 1989. And of course, I've got a few photos from him from、uh, 91 as well.、Oh, I love this shot of him in 89 where he's in front of the promotional <laughs> Godzilla suits that they were using. <laughs> he looks very chill. This is actually right before they were about to shoot one of those scenes where a giant crowd goes running through an area of Tokyo.、Mm-hmm. Or Osaka, I think, technically speaking.、Mm-hmm. And this is the opening of the movie. You've got、nice. uh, him there with the Godzilla in a gigantic Daruma,、mm-hmm. that doll、wow. that Godzilla's holding.、Mm-hmm. Um, uh, anyway, Amori passed away on November 12th of 2022. He was、uh, 70 when he died. Sorry、wow. for that delay. This is him on the set. And this is,、uh, the, sorry, this is the beginning of the 1991 film's development, where they had everybody sort of lined up for a press, press、uh, event. I think he did a great job. Working on、mm-hmm. this movie. Oh,、um, absolutely. In terms oh, of directing. t h e s him with i f u k u r e in the center、it. there.、Oh, nice、wow. wow. Nice picture. That's cool. Lovely、okay. picture from the、Here、opening.、Mm. Really cool stuff. I love、mm-hmm. that、uh, they had Suchia in that one.、Yeah. Yoshio、yeah. Suchia. Wow, look at that. 
Um, I wow. don't actually have any photos of him involved with Godzilla versus Mothra at all, so I just pasted his photo over the guy on the right here. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I love it. I love but it. he was definitely involved with Destroya as well, so here he is in the lineup mm. with uh, mm. you know special effects director and the director of the film and the actors involved as well. Shogo Tomiyama is right there on the right-hand side. And uh, those those are the cool photos that I have to show of Omori. Um, you know, we did not he, we did not get him involved in so many movies in the genre or in the Godzilla series, but he had such a strong hand in shaping what we consider to be the Heisei era of Godzilla films. And uh, mm -hmm. I think what we're going to do right now is Leslie has a few questions for us that we're going to answer. So I'm going to give Leslie the big screen. And uh, we'll just go, yeah, person by person and answer the questions Leslie has for us about Amori and his work and uh, his the effect <coughs> of his work, on us, right? Yes. Um, cause, cause like you said, Kyle, um, he directed both um, Biolante and King Ghidra. And let me just say, both of his films are in my top ten of favorite Godzilla films. Biolante is number seven and King Ghidra is number three. Um, and he... You know, he did a screenplay for both uh, Martha 92 and Destroyer. He also did it for Biolante. Now, he didn't come up with the original idea for Biolante, but he modified the original idea into what we got, basically. Um, just a wonderful filmmaker and just a wonderful, just... <laughs> for me, he's the person that saved Godzilla for me. Mm -hmm. Because when I was growing up, you know, I saw, you know, like, you know King Kong versus Godzilla, Monster Zero, Son of Godzilla. And right in the smack dab in the middle of that, I saw 1985. And we all know what happens at the end of that movie. Godzilla falls into a volcano, and they added in that screaming roar when he falls mm. in. They don't do it in, yeah. in, the, in the Japanese version. But the American version, when they added that scream, like, I have never heard Godzilla scream like that. Like, I heard him mm -hmm. scream when he almost killed by Mecha Godzilla. But that scream in 85 is different. Like, mm -hmm. it's like he knows he's about to die, and he doesn't want to die. So I really feel for him. And I thought for sure, even though it wasn't definitive, I thought Godzilla was dead. I was like, that's it. There's no more Godzilla movies or whatever. And so when I was found out by Balante and the first shot you see is him in the volcano, alive and well, Amori, thank you for saving the big guy. Thank you for <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Yeah, that uh -oh. was such a nice so story. excited he froze. Oh, no. Yes. Yes, Miss Oh, no. There he is. Oh, he's back. He's back. back. He's back. There he is. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, we're having a storm here in North Carolina. Mother Nature. <laughs> oh. um, but basically, first, but basically, the first book is really simple. Because, again, he wrote and he directed, you know. But in your opinion, was he a better film director? Or do you think he was a better writer? I guess David go first. Hmm. So he actually wrote the screenplay to uh, Biolante, right? And uh, God's Mothra versus Godzilla. Uh, Godzilla versus Mothra mm -hmm. and Destroya. Those are the three mm -hmm. he wrote the screenplay mm -hmm. for. Actually, what I understand, I think he wrote King Ghidra too. So he wrote all four of them. Uh, for what I for what I saw on Wikipedia, he wrote all four of them. I'm gonna say but he's a better uh, screenwriter than film director. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. I think that, you know, his vision to sort of resurrect Godzilla from the dead, as you said before, and I, I think that, that they're so imaginative. Like, the perfect example for me is Godzilla versus King Ghidra in 1991. The story is crazy. It's all over the place. It's so imaginative, though. It may not all the dots may not connect um but you know it, it still makes for a really fun story that has some sort of historic events mm -hmm. in it and yes. um i i really like the storyline it wasn't executed as well as it may be under under the direction of someone else um but we'll never know that um i just i just love the his imagination mm -hmm. and you know, and for someone to write the screenplay for Godzilla's death, that's pretty incredible too. Even though he didn't direct that one, mm -hmm. he was responsible for the screenplay. That, to me, you know, deserves kudos. So, mm -hmm. um, although he was a great director, I do think that his, his he was more 
talented as a screenwriter. And one little tidbit I will add about him. I went back and I watched uh, uh, the, the Masterclass uh, interview that Steve Rifle did um, with, with uh, Omori-san. And I learned a lot I, that I didn't know. And it just re reminded me that he was a doctor. He's an MD. He's mm. a trained doctor. Yeah. And because his whole family were doctors and, and they wanted him to go into that profession. But his passion was filmmaking and movies. And he fell in love with filmmaking. And I'm so glad that he did because, you know, he, mm -hmm. in essence, resurrected Godzilla for us fans. Absolutely. And uh, that's, that's pretty much all I got to say uh, <clears throat> on that. So who's next? Christine? Oh, yeah, I guess that would be me. Um, I don't, that is a tough question because, like, I, I do, <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's hard. But I, I, I guess I kind of lean more towards, I liked his directing more i guess than his writing just because um well if he did do Godzilla vs king Ghidorah, that was a little out there that was a little out there um but it is a fun movie but i really like the way he directed um Godzilla vs biolante and well he directed king Ghidorah also but just like this some of the the scenery and the images that he uses when he's directing like the way some shots are set up. I really like like that perspective of things. Um, yeah, that's a hard question though, because like I love Godzilla versus Destroyer, and I think that's a great that's a great screenplay. That's a great. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I I love the way that that movie turned out, and ah, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know. I think I, I think I'm leaning more towards I like his directing the way he directed the films mm -hmm. more than the mm -hmm. writing aspect. But, but Christine, I got to, I got to put this, pose this to you. Um, although Biolante is an awesome film, it does suffer from, from some pacing issues. And yeah, that's it's a true. long time before you see the monster. There's a lot of stuff that's sort of jammed into that one section of the movie where we don't see a whole lot of monster action. So I think his directing uh, is not like as, as great as it could be because if that if one of my problems with Godzilla versus Biolante is the pacing and um. and I think that all the action is at the end you know there's really not that much action in the first the first half of that film so um, uh, I don't know that's that's just I, my opinion you, I, you well, I think kind of, oh I know I think he kind of sprinkled stuff I like how he kind of sprinkled things in along the way you know, like like Godzilla come out of Mount Mahara and then you know you have yeah, but that wasn't till much thing. much like a, a long time into the film yeah but to be fair we don't see Godzilla too much later in 91 we don't see him till like the 50 minute mark at least with Biolante we see him just a little bit sooner and kind of peppered out a little bit but with Godzilla yeah. we don't see him at all until like the 55 minute mark but kind of like now he, here, here's his his prowess as a screenwriter. It didn't really matter because we were so interested in what's going on. Whether mm -hmm. it makes sense or not, that's another story. Right. We were we were engaged in what was mm -hmm. happening on the screen. I, I I'm just talking from my personal experience. Oh, yeah, a, lot yeah. of, a lot of that middle part of Biolante is a little dull for me, and yeah. and I really think that he should have, as a director, he should have utilized a lot more of If Ifukube's music. Because Ooh. I don't care for the score before Ifukube comes on screen. You don't love Bioware's, um, you love Bioware's David? It's fantastic. Yeah, no. Oh, such a breath I, of fresh air. Well, that, that's, oh, that's no. a lot of people think that, but I don't care for that. Da -da -da -da. Uh, oh, it's awesome. Da -da 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 that sounds like um, almost no. anything else. No, wow. no, not, not my cup of tea. Uh, I got really oh. excited oh, at the point goodness. where we hear. Ifukube, Ifukube's music, and that's why I like. Well, not I, always. One of the reasons I loved uh, 1991 because the score is so great. Mm -hmm, it is the great. Score is yeah. fantastic. But it's nothing it, like Bahalant. Uh, that's thank you. I'm um, thank goodness. You don't like, no, oh, <laughs> I don't like it. It's I don't such like a it. breath of fresh air. No, no. I like. No. I, no. I, no. Oh my goodness. I don't, I don't, anyway, anyway, five I, I, score was a breath of fresh air. 
the uh, Biolante, I don't I don't agree with the Biolante being a good score. I I'm on Thank I'm you. on David's side of things there. Oh, me and John Sorry. against Kyle. It's David. not terrible. It's just not great. All right. Sorry. I just I just I interjected too much. So <laughs> I, I, finish up your thoughts. I, I didn't mean to, to hijack your your thing. See, Leslie, you're oh, doing it again. Your question. You're fine. No, you're fine. I mean, although I mean, obviously, <laughs> I am biased towards the Biolante movies, but but that's not why. It's just like I don't know. For some reason, I just I really like. I thought he did a good job sprinkling things in along the way by wanting to keep at least me interested, even when, when I was young and my like niece and nephew, like to keep people interested. But no, I see Fair what enough. you're saying. Yeah. I see what That's you're saying though, David. Um okay. no, that is a hard question. I mean, he's it's like the best of both worlds. He he can direct and he can write. Yeah. I'm gonna go just, I'm gonna go with directing though. <laughs> for okay. me. What about you, John? What what are your thoughts on I uh, think you both had wonderful points. I'm going to lean toward the screenwriting, um, the screenplays, just because it imagine it, the keyword imagination yes. really brought Godzilla, God with '89 just brought Godzilla out in a different way, in a different, just hadn't been seen in all in that way before. I mean, never. The, um, I'm going to keep it simple because I'm starting to feel sick. I had my oh, shot no. oh no! Oh no! It's no, coming! It's Don't crazy. even think about it! Oh, oh no! Yeah. Damn! Yeah, I'm sorry. Aww. I'm trying to hold on. I'm a little oh, starting to damn. ache. damn. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, but I would go with the yeah, screenwriter. I mean, just very different. And to, like you said, to be able to write Destroyer, uh, that's tough mm. to bring it to an end. You know, that's a big burden. That's you got to get that right. And I think the the story, regardless of execution of any of the films, the stories yep. are great. And ni- ninety one yeah. is genius to me, regardless of any. You know, regardless of the rest, yeah. <laughs> yeah, time machine stuff. But there's some deep stuff in each film that should be, oh, you know, man. to think through and to so mm-hmm. much deep explore. stuff. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Kyle, how about yourself? Oh, I have to answer this question. Um, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> oh, no, yeah. I, actually, uh-huh. so I thought about it for a second. I think what I'm going to say is I like his directing better than his screenwriting, but it's very difficult to pinpoint. Which is which, right? Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. when one ends and one begins, like, you're right. Yeah. There are, <clears throat> as I've said many times, there's no perfect Godzilla movie. They're all rife with flaws. Yeah. And to me, as as many people know, I love Biolante, but I don't like King Ghidra, right? And I yeah. really love uh, the movie. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. De- Leslie is, a, of course, shocked with this information, but the um, <laughs> Destroya, honestly, as a directing accomplishment, it has diminished quite a bit over over my lifetime of watching it. Like I, I, I still love it, but I don't love it as much as I did back in 1995 when I saw it. Right. Mm. So for me, I would almost say I think he's a better director than the screenwriter because the screenwriting for Mo- Godzilla versus Mothra and the screening writing for Destroya weren't as good as I would hope they could be. It's again, really difficult to say one way or another, but I don't care for the direction of the Godzilla versus Mothra mm-hmm. stuff. You know what yeah, I mean? Me like and it, it's hard again, it's hard to say. I, I'm just going to go ahead and say I like his directing better than screenwriting. So but I split right down. It would have been interesting to see him do more in the directing line of things, and and it's also interesting that he sure. got continually pulled back into the Heisei stuff mm-hmm. for screenwriting. Mm-hmm. Right. So Leslie, Leslie. We, we need to hear your answers. You get to break the tie. It's 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 uh, two and two. Oh well, because um, again, I love his movies. I love Valente. I do. I think that movie is it's perfect. It's like that's a movie I would show it to a. Uh, to a, a fan that I want to, a, a new a new fan I want to make become a fan like I, I mean I can't knock Christine for that like that 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 movie is to me mm-hmm. even the score I mean the I score it. is it. it's kind of like 84 but it's lighter mm-hmm. in tone so mm-hmm. it's kind of like it's a it's a natural transition from 84 to Balante love King Giza despite its flaws and its problems and you know mm-hmm. I would have to say I probably will enjoy him more as a storyteller. And I'll talk more about that just a little bit when I talk about my favorite collectible from the film. Um, but my second question 
is what is your favorite work of his? What, what was your favorite work that he did? Movie, writing, what was your favorite one? Balante, King Ghidra, Mothra, or Destroy? Which one's your favorite? All right, well, this is going to sound really strange, ha- having said what I said about, about Biolante. <laughs> I've got to go with Biolante as my favorite, even though mm-hmm. I don't love the score and the pacing is a little off. I love the fact that Godzilla all of a sudden has this new incarnation and looks just so badass. There's no other way to put it. Now, i got to tell you the story of how, how I discovered this. I had just moved to New York City, and I was in Forbidden Planet, and I found a magazine uh, that was uh, produced by August Rigoni called Markalite Magazine. Yeah, Markalite. And yeah. it only had a couple issues. And this is the issue with Namikawa on the cover, Monster Zero cover. Oh. And I'm flipping through and I see this image of Godzilla, the, the 89 Godzilla. I'm like, what the blank is that? Where, 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 <laughs> how did I miss this? Where, where can I see this? And, and that same day, I went over to one of the stores that I actually ended up working in on Bleecker Street called Children of Paradise, a, a collectible store. And I was talking about this Mark Light issue with someone in the store. And they said, oh, yeah, that's Godzilla versus Biollante, the plant monster. And I'm like, what? And he's like, yeah, there's like copies next door at Kim's Underground Video. Oh. So I marched wow. my ass right out to Kim's <laughs> Underground Video. Bought a terrible, yeah. grainy ass copy of Godzilla vs. Biollante, and I took it home and watched it. I'm like, aside from the th- the flaws, and this is the fir- my first time seeing. It, I'm like, dude, Godzilla looks so badass! Oh my god, mm-hmm. it looks like- because I-, I didn't love the '85 design at the time. I've grown to love it, uh, but this to me was a departure from anything that I had ever seen. And and like I said before, I alluded to the fact that you know '84 had no. <clears throat> music in it and this movie had smatterings of Ethiopia music so I was just like what is this I love it I love it I love it so I've got to go with it was the, my first introduction to anything Godzilla Heisei in New York City in the village Godzilla versus Biolante that's it my favorite <laughs> most, the most impressionable one for me Christine Fantastic. All right. Well, I mean, this might come as a surprise to some of you guys, so make sure you're sitting down. But Biolante is my favorite. <laughs> I thought you were going to go with something else. I thought you were going to say Space Godzilla. And I was like, what? Very shocking, I know. <laughs> but, but, I mean, a lot of things you just said, David, this movie left a huge impression on me. Because, you know, coming out of the Showa era, and, you know, they get goofy and kitty at that, you know, and so now this is the first time. Well, Godzilla '84 did scare the heck out of me when I first watched it when I was younger, especially the sea louse. But oh, he yeah. still yeah. had, like, he still looked like he had the big Google eyes. So, but Godzilla versus Violante, he like this is like, oh my gosh, if Godzilla was real, this is what I imagined it would look. He looked like he like mm. he looked like it was a real living being a real living animal kaiju the suit, the suit and, was designed so well yeah absolutely. yeah and i was like oh my gosh i remember just being there like what is this and i just lo- I, I love the story yeah. of it i mean it was a complete 180 from well not really exactly 180 from 84 but from the showa era let me get our first kind of serious movie 84 and then 89 just was like a total they just Archer. took it in a yep. total Absolutely. different direction. And I was like, this is like, this is it. And I love the whole story of the Biolante and how she was created and her evolving from the rose to her final form and the fight scenes and General Crocky. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a crush on him. So. <laughs> and Megumi, I mean, now you have the yep, strong that's her first yeah, lead. Megumi, and, yes. Yeah. And I just love her. Like, imagine being able to talk to Godzilla yeah. and like communicate with him, but somehow telepathy. Like, I just that was yeah, that was my definitely like that's always going to be my favorite. My, I know, I'm just like uh, yeah. Just, uh, yeah, I can't even talk right now. I just I just love this movie. Whenever I think of Godzilla, this is the Godzilla. I'm going to watch it tonight now. Even. Yeah, I think I'm not too sick. I, I think I need to watch it tonight. So good. Mm-hmm. I love you it know, so much. That in ninety one. You know, you know what I forgot, you guys. Um, actually. There's great continuity. If this is the first time we see continuity from '84 to this, mm-hmm. got yes. all the cells on yeah, the destroyed right. Tokyo, etc. Oh, et yes. I, 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 I am a sucker for continuity. I for some reason it just <laughs> elevates my 
movie viewing experience when there's continuity mm -hmm. between the, the movie that, that was before it. But um, mm -hmm. I love that fact too. And as Christine said, the seriousness of it, um, even though there's some goofy parts, you know, with the, again, the American actors are painful and, and, and the whole thing, but, but it, it's, it's just so, so different and such a departure and such a new direction that Godzilla had, was taking for the, that, that decade, really. Definitely. Yeah. That's why I hate say is my, my favorite, <laughs> my favorite era. Cause I don't know. Like I love the, the Showa series. That's what I grew up watching when I was little. But this, I mean, the, the Heisei era is just like, this is, if Godzilla was real, this is what he would look like. Yeah. Like, it looked real to me. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. but yeah, Bailante, my favorite. I know it's a surprise. I know, like, shocking, yeah. but. <laughs> <laughs> so, John, what about you? Was Out of all the Heisei the movies, which one is your favorite? Uh, ditto. A, uh, Violante. For, I love this, I love for, this right now. <laughs> for personal reasons, similar to David. It's so funny how we have similar experiences. Totally. You totally get my experience, right? Yeah, absolutely. When it, out, after 85, I thought, you know, Godzilla was done. And I went with family to Los Angeles and San Francisco to see family and ended up in San Francisco and Japanese bookstore, you know, Japan town, Kinokuni, yeah. yep. and found an Ultraman book. And I mean, things were blowing me away. Like, oh my goodness. And in there, I found a book on Godzilla versus Bialante or Bialante, however you want to say his name. And I was like, where, what in the world? Where did this come from? What is this? <laughs> exactly. And <laughs> I was floored. I got, I, I thought it was, you know, I thought the series was over with 85 pretty much, you know, like that's it. I mean, it's been a few years past now. And then I found out through, my my friend growing up, great friend Eric, that he knew someone, uh, my great friend Jonathan Holt, Apache pilot, serviceman for years now. He had seen uh, seen Bialante in Japan uh, uh, as a oh. the teenager oh. in the theater. And so I'm like, oh, I had to meet him. So out of this movie came great friendships, but uh, what a uh, Godzilla movie to, for the ages, I think. It's, it's so unique. It brought a breath of fresh air to the series. To, to, to everything so and i i still i'm not i love that soundtrack you all should just embrace it <laughs> i'll I'll, I'll, I'll open up my, i'll open myself up to to <laughs> liking it better when i watch it tonight <laughs> it, it is just a, it's a regular you know select uh, it's a regular playlist for me amongst all of them other music really oh, yeah. fair enough it's, it's not just godzilla you know soundtrack it's just great to me i think it's from first track to the last that's how i listen to it right on mm -hmm. Hmm. Kyle, what's your favorite? <clears throat> well, actually, <laughs> I have to say that when I when I think about the impactful Godzilla like Godzilla moments in my life that have to do with the movies specifically, there's really not too many more that have the strength to knock me out on first glance that Godzilla versus Bialante had for me. Amen. Yep. And um, similar to what you guys are saying, I walked, I had seen Godzilla movies. I had not seen nearly all of them when, when I found Bialante, but like I had seen maybe like four or five Godzilla movies. And I, I liked the genre very much, especially because it reminded me of when I was a kid and I was watching mm -hmm. like, Spectre Man mm -hmm. and, uh, Man, yep. and Space Absolutely. Giants on TV because I didn't see the Godzilla movies when I was a kid. So when I when I saw '84, when I lived in Japan as a teenager, that was like mind blowing to me. As many people know that story, but when I was living in Savannah, Georgia, going to school at the Savannah College of Art and Design, oh, you I went walked to into SBA. was that you went to SBA. Uh, or, or, scad, or, yeah. Scad, scad, yeah. Awesome, awesome. I've been that. Yeah. Time. So uh, we had a video store, and it was, you know, so the school doesn't have a campus. It's like they take over buildings in downtown Savannah. Mm. So the video store was everybody's video store, and it was like very, very kind of hip and cool. Yeah. And basically, I walked in there one day to just rent whatever. <laughs> And I came across the the cover art for Godzilla vs. Bialante, and oh, I was snap. like, "What is this?" <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It. Exactly. And, um, <laughs> I had seen Godzilla 1985 
in the year of 1987. And I had not seen a Godzilla film until 1993 when I found this in the in the VHS section. Wow. Where they didn't have anything else other than VHS. Yeah. What am I talking about? <laughs> yeah, right, right, the right. That store. was the, that was the store. <laughs> that was it. And yeah. so I took it yeah, home man. and it rocked my world. I think it also reinvigorated my love for giant Japanese monster stuff because Amen. Me too. it was after wow. that that I found my friend Gilbert who had more of the Showa era movies awesome. and then oh, shortly after that awesome. it was the internet that turned me on to <laughs> the rest of the Godzilla films yeah. and and honestly if it hadn't been for Biolante I mm -hmm. don't know how long it would have taken me to get back into the Godzilla fold yeah. Yeah. but everything about Biolante really really blew me away when it i think it came at a very integral time for filmmaking and i'm saying this as an american film viewer as an audience member not as a not as somebody who's like a japanese cinephile kind of thing like that movie when it showed up it got me to really really take a look at what those what the japanese side of things was doing and i am forever grateful for that to Godzilla vs. Biolante. There's my favorite. Long wind Perfect. for you. Awesome. No, it was great. It's I, I I relate to everything you said, like every single word you said. It's very similar to to our experiences too. Wow. Yeah. Plus, now, now you got it. You gonna make it unanimous? <laughs> five for five. <laughs> okay. Come on, don't mess it up. <laughs> now. <laughs> now. Y'all are not wrong for feeling how you feel about Biolante. But I'm gonna have to be the odd man out and say that actually King Ghidra is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, oh. it's a great movie. Get this I mean, man but, off screen. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but this is not anything new. Like y'all are Team no, Godzilla, I'm, I'm Team Kong. Yeah. I love the MonsterVerse. <laughs> you don't. Y'all love Safubi. I, I hate like it. it. So this is like the norm, you know. Um, no, but seriously, I love Violante. You know that. But I again, King Ghidra yeah. is high on my list. Um, and I know about the issues with the film. The time travel convoluted plot got holes in it that's like bigger than a Swiss cheese factory that you can drive a dump truck through. Got a little taste forever to, to come on screen. But for me, they brought back one of my favorite villains of all time. They brought back Issa Kube for the score. Yep. The cast is stellar. The character of Shindo by himself. I know. I stellar. know. Mr. Yeah, Shindo, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the idea where, you know, basically King Ghidra and Godzilla swap places, like they go from villain yeah. to hero and hero to villain, and you root for either monster. Um, but also, you kind of see an origin story of sorts of Godzilla. Don't particularly care about the King Ghidra origin, quite frankly. Yeah. But at least you see how Godzilla becomes the monster he becomes and why he keeps coming back. Mm -hmm. So for all those reasons, again, I just love King Ghidra more. <clears throat> I mean, you know, I love Balante, but as a film, and I, I'm aware of the issues. And but at the same time, I'm able to look past those issues and really just have fun with the movie, which is why we watch his movies in the first it place. That's right. Yeah. And Godzilla so, never looked better. Godzilla never looked better than ninety one. Mm -hmm. He never looked better. They, right. he never yeah. looked they, better. They, they took that eighty nine suit and they yes. tweaked it a tiny bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, it, bags just, worked. Mm -hmm. it bags just worked. Bags. And and yeah. I agree with yeah. you, Leslie. I, I was so <laughs> like they just took everything I said about uh, Biolante and they, they ran with it, and that's why. That's why, even though we don't we don't necessarily love the Dorat story, the fact it's so imaginative, mm -hmm. I love that. And that's that's Omori-san screen screenplay. It's yeah. just like right. it's a crazy, you know, way to to sort of explain the three heads, you know. And it's like mm -hmm. um, I don't I don't necessarily love it. But I think it's very imaginative. It you is, know? Right. and and yeah. you know, it's I love story. Mr. Shindo on Lagos Island. Mm -hmm. I love the salute and the and the connection that the Japanese yes. army had to the dinosaurs. Yes. And then I got to yeah. say one thing. I know I'm yeah. long winded. When when Godzilla, the new incarnation of Godzilla, confronts yeah. Mr. Shindo in his yes. building. Mm -hmm. I don't think he should have killed him. I think he should have just I like know. walked mm -hmm. away. I didn't think he was gonna. I, I didn't think he was gonna. I didn't gonna. either. I th that bothered me. Like, don't kill Mr. Mm -hmm. Shindo. He was like, you know, the, he he sang your praises. The you connection. Know? And, right. Yeah. And, and, and right. Godzilla's just like, fuck you. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. <Dave>. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs>
I blew it. I've been so good for 34 episodes. <laughs> oh, well. Right, that's right. Oh, well. I was a little slow on the bleep. I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That, that, that just goes to prove that I'm passionate about what I'm saying. Yeah, and, that's and, right. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I, I, I understand Leslie completely. As as a fun movie, I think it surpasses <laughs> Biollante. As an impactful movie yeah. for me, Biollante is, is more impactful. So it's tough. It's yeah. very tough. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? I'll just skip to my last question. I have one more, but I skipped to my last question. And it involves collectibles. Um, basically, what is your favorite collectible from a film that Amori did? What's well, your favorite collectible? Simple, easy peasy. This is the same same sort of time period where I discovered the movie in Kim's video, and I saw the the image in Marco Light magazine. I went to Children in Paradise. I went back. And they have uh, yeah, they had a, oh, they had a nice. classic. Yes. They didn't. Cool. Um, uh, um, Bandai didn't really do an '89 per se um, in <clears throat> back in the day, but they did do this '91, and it came out pretty quick. Like it was really, mm -hmm. they produced it really fast. So I think it did actually come out mm -hmm. in 1991. And I still have the tag, and I still have the price. Oh, you know what? And I did not get this at Children of Paradise. I got this at a in, in Chinatown in New York City at a place called Waku Trading on Mott Street, 58 Mott Street, Mott and Street, I still have yep. the price tag on it. <laughs> awesome. Look, it was $19.90. Nice. Oh, my and, God. I paid and so, it, so much more for my Bandai 91 figure. Yeah, really? yeah. Wow. Uh, but it, they, yeah, because yeah, – when when I was living in New York, this is before the internet, before you had magazines, before you could everything's at your fingertips. You used to have to go on toy safaris, <clears throat> look through the neighborhoods, mm -hmm. and Chinatown was sort of an undiscovered country for uh, Godzilla toys. Like sometimes you go, you find nothing. Sometimes you go, you find tons of stuff, and they just happen to have a bunch of of these in Waku Trading on Mott Street. I don't even think it's still there. I have to go check it out next time. But nineteen dollars <laughs> and ninety cents, and I, and I wow. love that I saved this tag and and yeah, this figure. Cool. This figure just sums up everything I just said. Like Godzilla looks realistic. He looks powerful. He looks serious. He's got a closed mouth. You know, I'm partial to the closed mouth things too. Um, I just absolutely this this one was this used to follow me from room to room when I lived in New York. I only had three Aww. rooms, but he'd go to different rooms. But but I, I I was so stoked to get this, and um, and then I I got the Biolante figure like a year later at Pony Toy Go Round. John knows it in Edgewater, New Jersey. Yep, absolutely. And that and that was only like like 20 25 dollars too because back then you know you didn't pay an arm and a leg for this stuff but but yeah so this is my favorite collectible from the heisei era and from that that's that spawned from omori san's um imagination right there 91 fantastic thanks yep. <laughs> all right made this gigantic iteration of it yep i've got him too he's in the other room yes old classic <laughs> Oh, nice, yep. John. Oh, wow. Came in a, it came in a nice yeah, big box, big too. Yes. Right? Yep, yep. I got to nab one of those. Box is long gone. The tail is great. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So, again. oh, gosh, my favorite. It's hard because, like, I have a very big Heisei collection. Um, obviously, my, my favorite would be the third, the large monster series by Alante. I'm not going to get her off the shelf. But um, concerning Godzilla-wise, um, so the 89 is my favorite suit. However, I think my favorite collectible of the Heisei Godzilla, like David, is the 91 oh, suit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when this yeah. Sakai 30 centimeter came That's out, fabulous. I was like, this is the one. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is from yeah, 91 mm -hmm. from Godzilla versus King Ghidorah. Um, I just, he looked so good. 89 Godzilla, he looked mean, but they just upped the ante in 91. Mm -hmm. He was a nasty you ain't lying. machine. Yeah, he was a nasty snarl. They had that machine. snarl. <laughs> yes, and then he started getting the gold in his eyes, which yeah, I, I yeah. love. That's one thing I loved about, like, I wish 89 had more of that kind of gold tinge in it. Mm. He had the brown eyes, but when they started putting that, that hint of gold in there, and especially, I think it was Space Godzilla, or maybe it was that Mothra, where they were, like, super gold, and I just, I loved that. So, this, so they started with the the gold hint in there in 91, but I mean, he's just a beefy mm -hmm. bad dude. And this, this is yeah. one, like my favorite when I think of, well, I do think of 89, but <laughs> I mean, this the pose when he's 
he's rearing back, roaring with as King Ghidorah lands yeah, over here. Oh, yeah, right. awesome. yes. yep, that's awesome. Yeah, that's just like an awesome scene. Great. Of, Fuka Bay music that. in the background. So, uh, yeah, yep. that, <laughs> that is just a, just a mm. classic, just amazing scene. So, yeah, this <laughs> would be my, I, I would say, my that's favorite great. Heisei collectible that's because great. Yeah. it reminds me of that image, and he's just a badass dude. Real quick side but, note: Have you guys seen the Zo models '89? Someone actually got yes. one. Yes, yeah. that's it's, it's a beast. Oh, I didn't see those pictures. <laughs> it's a beast. Oh. Go see, in, that go in, uh, my favorite habit. It, it. I, I'll tell you what. It's. I think it, when this kit is built and painted, it's going to blow anything we have out of the water because it's just so I perfect. Yeah, it is awesome. I'll, I'll, I'll find pictures of where I found it. I'll repost them on our group. It's. It's. Oh, it's, so somebody uh, actually bought the kit. And I thought yeah, they have the kit. And they took it out of the box. They're showing it. It's, oh yeah. my god! I know. I know. Oh my gosh! Gosh, yeah, I wish I could do kits, but I'm just so afraid. Like I don't. Mm. I want them, but I, I'm afraid to display them because I mean I haven't really experienced a big earthquake here, but I'm just nervous. Like if oh. something. Yeah. I don't want, well, that's, like, I would love to have one, but, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. But real quick, I'll just show my favorite Safuvi version of uh, the Heisei Godzilla. Oh, gosh, this one was hard to pick. But I think I'm going to have to go <laughs> with. So we have, like, you know, a realistic oh, version here. Yeah. But I really love the Marma 89. I mean, I think it's great. The Marma Heisei <laughs> sculpts are just, I just think they're real nice. And this was yeah, one cute. of the, yes, very I cute. love the glowy I'd one. But, I mean, this was, yeah, mm -hmm. and I oh, think. I, nice. I mean, they had a, mm -hmm. they did a 91, which a lot of people, no, they did a, oh no, Marmot did two 89 sculpts, but I actually like this one, the original one. All best. right, screen right, dog, cool. let's move okay, on, move along. <laughs> <laughs> I love Godzilla, Sorry, I, I made it. Oh, John. Sorry. I'll John, what is your favorite collectible? <laughs> I'm torn. I'm torn because um, <clears throat> someone said, mentioned skin, and I was like, yeah, this is it. So I have two items. Oh. I, I don't know which one. And I shared this before. A little piece of Godzilla. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome, John. That's so cool. <laughs> it was so. Uh, and you can still find these. You can find them on Bayi if you. Search I think them. I need to get that. Oh, I'll have to look yeah. That up. And it's actually they say they say it's from an actual Godzilla suit that they pulled it from. Oh no way. So, yeah, yeah. But but my favorite oh, thing is oh, my God, when I found I it that. and I couldn't believe the price that I got for it. And, it, and it is the Godzilla versus Biolante skin. Oh, nice. oh my gosh! Yeah. Wow, John, yeah. that's awesome. Some yeah, storyboard stuff like, in there too. Wow, wow. Yeah, right, right. I mean, I, I'm like, oh, it's all marked up. <laughs> but this isn't the original. Is that the original? Not the original script. Right? I know you. I, it's marked up, and I don't know. It's probably what? an original Turn script, but not way. from somebody important, right? Like so, right. Like, somebody who oh, had the script who was just wow. on set, right? And they that's cool. They made the notes that they needed to make. Yeah, yeah I've seen a bunch of those on on uh, Yahoo Japan auctions. Still oh awesome. God. Still yeah, so cool. So this is marked up, right? Right. So one thing I'd like to wow. do a deep dive in, in some of the content it's, it's, and see what oh, it says yes. on there. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Yes. I would love to yeah, see. Yeah, you should see if you can are. figure out who it belonged to. That'd be yeah. awesome. That's I'll do cool. some back some backtracking and see if that was uh, indicated. I love that I stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, it was a treasure to find. And I, along with this wow. trip, I've got the uh, uh, Ghidorah the Three Headed mon Monster, script, uh, which was oh geez. no way together. And I think I only paid like sixty bucks. <laughs> no, what? Wow, you think they'd be like hundreds? <laughs> they are. They usually you know five, six hundred, seven hundred. They can wow. go. They can get steep quick. Yeah, I, I got these as steel. And I and and at first I was like, are these just the notes? Because you can get the notebooks, the blank, <clears> but just right, the, right, or the script. Right, right. And you want to steer away from. I mean, just one, but I was like, whoa, give me that. That's cool. <laughs> so neat. <laughs> Kyle, what's the, what what collectible do you have? Easy for oh. me to do because I have such a limited collection behind me now. <laughs> my uh, my favorite Omori. Piece is the yeah. glow in the dark yeah. rose by yeah, that's that's awesome. I'm just gonna say quickly that I waited many, 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 many years to acquire a rose Bialante figure, and when this this became available at G Fest for an exclusive version one year, mm -hmm. I was like, I have to have to get that. So 
And that was, of course, when I was trying to do like every kaiju of the Godzilla series has to be represented in my collection. Mm-hmm. Also, glows in the mm-hmm. dark. It's just very beautiful. So, I mean, did you have Magumi sign it? Anyway. No. Did you have Magumi? Oh. No, no. I, I'm not huge into getting figures signed. I have like three figures signed, and that's good enough for me. Hmm. But I'm there you, you go, Leslie. I'm curious. What about you? What's your Omori? collectible piece that you are wanting to show off here uh, come here buddy here we oh, go. Good choice. <laughs> that's a great choice yep the um, x plus gigantic series burning godzilla this was my first ever gigantic and again he wrote destroyer and whenever i see this you know it just brings back those memories of seeing the movie for the first time and mm-hmm. you know godzilla dies you know it's different because i touched on 85 earlier where he falls in the volcano but when 95 is different because he is slowly dissolving away and there's mm-hmm. nothing you can do about it but just sit there and watch and mm-hmm. that's why i've always said you know you know i love the millennium series at least most of them gmk the monsterverse or whatever i got i love everything that we got behind destroyer but if destroyer was to be the last film like if no other guys of the film mm-hmm. came out oh of that yeah i'd have been fi- i'd have been fine with that because wow. they handled the death of godzilla perfectly in that movie now are there some shots that are not perfect like the Bandai Destroyer scene, yes, it's true. But I think the story, <laughs> I think the story and how how it also ties <laughs> everything back to the original Fifty Four. Yes, I think as a movie, oh, yeah. as a story, it, yeah. it does that. So again, the gigantic Brennan Godzilla is my favorite. That Omori touch. That's it. Awesome. Nice work. Nice. Mm-hmm. Nice choice. Right that on. was my first gigantic too, by the way. Me too. So. Oh, yeah, so yeah. rest in peace, Amori. Rest in peace, Amori. You gave us some, some some great movies and moments and monsters, and uh, I hope you're somewhere smiling because we yeah. try to try to try to do you proud, good sir. Rest in peace. Absolutely. Yeah. Amen. So Nothing much. left uh, to impact. To this genre impact that we sure. love so much. Uh, well, let's go ahead and bring things up, up to the top of our normal level of excitement at this show, and bring on. Jonathan Portman once again, and oh, yeah. Wilhelm, who hey, is the guys. Guys. Hey, guys. next segment. Gang's all uh, together. We're, we're going to have them on uh, here. to talk about the uh, the Collector Minute in just a, just a second. But uh, normally we do that after the Monster Showcase, so I thought we'd have the Monster Showcase first, and then we'd sure. come back and, uh, and do the Collector Minute and close the show out. I like it. All right. Uh, how's the sh- how's the decon for you still there, Jonathan? He's doing all right there. It's going well. Yeah, got. I'm just kind of in the. Uh, I'm between D and C. It's like the two big wings here, just kind of hanging out. You know. Between so. designer and con. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Living the dream. Living you're the gonna, dream. You're going to scream after the cheerleading competition. Right. I know, right? All right. Well, I have so to David... I have to walk past there to get to my car. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David, do you want to intro this? Kaiju in the I, 70s hashtag? I would love to. Um, this is the, the the next step in our... Uh, first, we did the 60s, 70s. I'm not, sorry, 60s, and this is the, the 70s. Um, and I really am so proud of you guys. You did so great. So many amazing submissions, and you'll, you'll see in a moment. And thank you so much for, for all of your participation in this one. And this one is really good. So let's just see it. Take it away, monsters. Yeah, it's a really, oh, really fantastic oh, piece of work. Nice, Greg. Look at Oh, Andy was a classic. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, yeah, it looks like it's right out of the movie. Greg Hawkins. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, that's cool. Great. Wow. Monsters in the trees. Nice. Now it comes through again. Oh, no. Nice. Hi nice, Sam. Hi nice, Sam. Clancy. Clancy. Yeah. Adam. Halloween. That's uh, beautiful. Yeah. That's an album cover. Yay. Nice. I love that one. Oh, that's cool. That's so great. Nice. nice. There you go, Leslie. Nice, Frank. I was really happy with the amount of submissions we got this time. It was really great. I know there's so many. You guys not nailed it. Ryan, there's Ryan. 
Gregory Thomas. And some new nice. people this time that I've never seen. Uh, yeah, lots of new people. That was fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. That looks like a poster. All right, Rich. Cool. Yeah. So good. That was fun. Oh, I love that. That was great. Awesome. That was awesome. Oh my gosh. That's fierce. What a fierce That's epic. I love it. Help me. Look at the door. Hey, this is going to be tough to choose. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Aww. Nice. 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 That's good. Wow. Wow. You got it. Thank you. Amazing. This one's going to be a job. hard one to choose. For mm. sure, for sure. Now, next month, our hashtag is going to be holiday themed. So, do uh, make sure you tag us online with hashtag collect all monsters and hashtag kaiju holidays. Kaiju holidays is our hashtag for next month where we're, we just want to see your kaiju figures celebrating the holidays, however, that's going to be. Feel free to get creative. We always love it when you get creative with these. And our, you know, our deadline will be, of course, uh, the the Wednesday before the show. So I think that'll be December 14th, I think. I mean, Sounds yeah, yeah right. December 14th, if I'm correct. I believe I'm correct. But right around that, right around that. <laughs> All right. So thank you very much, everybody. We're going to go ahead and highlight our two gentlemen here from our group, the Collect All Monsters Monster Collectors group. And that is Jonathan Portman. Actually, let me do this. Bam. And then I'll get Ryan oh. up here so we can Good just bless. quickly jump back and forth between you guys like this. Hey, what's Hello. up? What's up? Uh, Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hey there. Hey there. How's it going? Nice to see you again. It's going. It's okay, going. let's roll it. It's yeah. going. All right. So these guys are here to present <clears throat> our monthly segment called The Collector Minute. Take it away, Jonathan. All oh, right. So. Yeah. We good? We good? We good? Yeah, we're good. good. We're ready. Super good. All right. <laughs> so, uh, you know, always we love everyone who submits stuff. It's great to have everyone involved and and keep those you know some keep those posts coming and uh, keep getting creative because. We, we sure love to look at what everyone's posting in the group. And just because you aren't, if you aren't chosen, we, we doesn't mean we still don't love it. So keep posting away. And uh, I guess we'll go, we'll, we'll start with our first uh, spotlight right now. And I believe that one would be James Davis. Yes. Oh, okay. yeah, when someone great. asks you if you are a god, that's you great. say, yes. Yes. Like, <laughs> Very clever. This post yeah. is from uh, quite a while ago, but I just had to I, it, I had to highlight it because I just love the uh, the contrast here, Ghostbusters and Godzilla. It just kind of mm -hmm. writes itself, it's you know. So, so I, great job, James. Thanks for the post. Really creative and very funny, and I, I, I love it. It's great. Me too. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Genius. And uh, my first one for this uh, show is going out to Jessica. I am a big fan and advocate of when people have kaiju kaiju centric that's a hard thing to say uh collections and she has a ton of awesome and and she was totally stoked when she got this box day and i just want to highlight that i think it's really cool when people yeah. get treasured box days you know and it's perfect for halloween i think she got it right before halloween too right Ryan? yeah and that exactly. color, color scheme is really Beautiful. cool mm -hmm. it's a really cool piece nice Jessica. My son. Yeah. very cool great collection Oh, oh yes. no. Oh, nice. oh that's cool. <laughs> yes, that gamut. Yep. Wow. I had I just had to highlight this one because, you know, obviously Steve Heron, great, wonderful guy. Love his work. Also, you know, since Gamera, it's kind of fitting now since Gamera is back in the limelight with this new Netflix uh, Gamera series announcement. Mm -hmm. So I thought it'd be very fitting to show some Gamera off in, in, in very epic fashion. So thank you, Steve, for your, for your work. And, uh, Moving right along to, I think it's back to Ryan, right? It is, and I'm going to close it out with the man, Nick Sides. When I grow up, I hope uh, to be like Nick. I just, <laughs> I, love, 
I love what this picture embodies. It's it's beautiful. Sofubi. It's beautiful Sofubi. It's a beautiful moment in life, and it's just an awesome Titanosaurus that I have in my collection as well. So it's really cool being on the group and seeing someone do something creative with a piece that I also cherish a lot. So that's great. This is what the group's all about, man. It mm -hmm. is, and that beautiful that's Sherman beautiful Oak sunset. sunset. Mm -hmm. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah. I mean, yep. shout out again to that's Nick. Perfect. We love mm -hmm. Nick. Nick is awesome. Nick is yeah. the man. Nick is part Nick of the family. Preston. Shout out to mm -hmm. everybody, part of our Collect All Monsters, Monsters Collectors Facebook group. Because, you know, we talk about the, you know, we're here every month doing this show. And we're streaming every every month on a Saturday. And we're here for two-ish hours to talk about this stuff. But that is not where the <laughs> giant monster collectible life style ends my friends please come join us at our facebook group if facebook's your thing it's facebook.com slash group slash c-a-m-m-c collect all monsters monster collectors and we have a ton of fun in the group it's actually it's one of the only groups i still visit on facebook these days me and, too uh, absolutely it's just, <laughs> me too we, we're <laughs> gonna be doing more theme theme photo oh. stuff and just all sorts of cool things in the group and Every I feel like every month we have just about every month we have an additional bonus stream that we do where the Collect All Monsters crew in some form or, or another gets together and talks about some cool thing or shows off some cool thing usually at the end of the month. So make sure you head over there and, and check us out if Facebook is your thing because yeah. you should have a fun with us in the face space as well. All right. Yeah. No, it's, it's, it's great because we spend so much money on these toys and these figures yeah. and these models and these posters and these collectibles. Why not have a place, a safe, fun, un -drama -free, a drama-free place to like <laughs> hang out and, and just have fun with each other? Because we all get it. We all get it. You know, mm -hmm. we, we all, you know, the first place I went to to talk about the all the news is, is our group, Collect All Monsters, because, you know, everybody is so welcoming and everybody is mm -hmm. is just awesome so what kyle said please check it out if facebook even if facebook isn't your thing this is kind of different than a lot of places on facebook it really mm -hmm. is true very true and people stay Indeed. and we get new membership uh requests all the time like three or four a day please fill out the 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 applicant the uh questionnaire yeah, read it's not that rules. hard read, please read, read the rules please. and then we'll let you in and we'll start having fun because yeah. you know and and thank you Jonathan and, and Ryan for mm -hmm. helping us make the page as awesome as it is. It's awesome as it is. Thank, you. Thank you guys. Well, uh, I don't have anything else for this episode, you guys. I thought it was a really great way for us to show off the coolest things that we saw from all the news that happened since our previous episode. Plus, we got to talk about the director, Kazuki Amori, and, and his influence on us. Uh, thank you guys all for being here. My co hosts, Ryan. And of course, Jonathan for the walkthrough, like we said before, thanks to Nick and uh, Chris for their contributions on the designer con angle as well. Thanks to everybody who's watching. We still got 26 people who've stuck around Woo! through this all yeah, right yeah, 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 yeah. for a Thank you. three Thank hour you. stream. No so you guys are oh all gosh. awesome. Uh, we will be back, of course, for another Collect All Monsters Live episode Saturday, December 17th at 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. And of course, uh, you know, I'm just going to close out the show, right? This is the time for me to say, <laughs> until Bring it on. next time, our planet may be doomed, our Earth devastated, the monsters are in revolt, and civilization is in chaos. We must unite and collect, collect. all, all, all monsters. Monster. Monster. What are you talking about?